now recording. Um, <clears throat> I'll just get things set up. I'm going to read this to you because I, if you're not in my Discord, feel free to join. Uh, but I was making some theories about where the game is going, what what we're really thinking is going to happen. Um, and here it is. This is just my Monday night. No, Monday morning at like 4 a.m. Between 9th to 6th. It's the third today. So, second Friday, first Thursday, 30th Wednesday, Tuesday, 29th. Yes, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, I was. Uh, I was thinking about what what we think is going on in the game. And I've really picked out who I think are going to be the killers. It's either going to be lucky, lucky white hair boy. It's or it's. Uh, I've laid it out here, right? So let me read this to you. It's half three, but I've been thinking about the murder. We haven't done any investigation yet, but I think I have this half nailed. Firstly, we know the three people in the building before anyone else. They are our, our suspects. This is Chef, Lucky Boy, and Byakia, who is the victim. The way the body was hidden and the lights turning off rules out a self-defense kill. So Byakia didn't try to kill. And Cluedo style, the weapon is likely the missing meat skewer, something only Chef or Lucky Boy had access to. And how did they get the weapon without anyone seeing? But well, they specifically brought up the floorboards, being dangerously wide that someone might trip. So someone with access to the building, Chef or Lucky, hid the meat skewer in the floor. When the lights go out, they stab Bayakoya and wait for the lights. What's brilliant about this is both sus uh, suspects have easy access to one half of each plan. The chef had access to the kitchen and therefore the weapon. However, Lucky laid the carpets to cover the floor. The only part I haven't figured out yet is how the lights got turned out and where Sword Lady went. But I feel those two are somewhat linked and maybe if I think some more I can come up with an explanation. I could be totally wrong and the weapon could be something entirely different. But I'm very confident right now. Thank you for coming to my TED talk at 4 in the morning. And then later that day, I posted an update, which was While I'm still unsure who is turning off the light, I believe photographer girl took a photo. Pretty sure that's how we're going to find out who turned it off. Or at least, this is oh, oh, closest. I thought there's a closet to it. Closest to it. I'm going to have to keep checking the football. Um, still 1-0 though, by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, so far, I think we're on track. So let's move to the game. Now, if I bring this back in, yeah, that takes up half the screen. Give me a second. Let's put it like that. <coughs> it still takes up the majority of the screen, but now I can just easily hide it and bring it back in. Without further ado, though, it's been 20 minutes into the stream. Let's start the game. Uh, so we are on chapter one. Uh, <coughs> So there's, there's, oh, I forgot about the glow-in-the-dark goggles. I think they are actually part of either the killer's loadout, like the killer pers uh, personally picked these up, or... Oh, wait, no, the killer isn't the meat skewer, it's a knife. Oh, this already messes up my theory.
So there's something green at the back, which I'm unsure what that is. Why? 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 I don't have to say that. This is, this is impossible. Don't mess with me. This must be some kind of mistake. This, this can't be real. Oh, no, that's tweet you, Boshfa. This can't be. Uh, <clears throat> what voice is she? This can't can't be real blood, right? It, it's gonna be some some like jam or sauce. Because it's not this. <clears throat> yeah. Good gracious! <clears throat> Things quickly took a turn for the worse! My, my! Now this is interesting! <clears throat> On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place! M murder? <laughs> Hold on then. Does this, does this mean. Of course! Mia Koya was killed by one of you. What? If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. <clears throat> look, he has such a horrible expression on his face. Don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force. All thanks to somebody else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this? If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Ah, oh, my voice for Monogum is going. <clears throat> There's definitely something green on the back of it. I have to have a look at that. It looks like someone's prepped something in. The electricity output to the lamp. That's weird. If the lights got turned off by the circuit breaker, the lamp should not be turned off. Right? Hmm. Mayakoya was most likely sacrificed by I mean, someone who really wanted to leave this island. L lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered the moment I screamed that word. A thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that, that I've accepted the fate that Bieko was murdered. Hey, Swordwoman's back. Is is that is that really be a choir? Why? Why did this happen? Why by a choir? I see, I see. It appears Fuhiko was the only one who wasn't here. So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do it the usual way? Ding 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 dong. Class trial? Hey. I've been explaining this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you will have to debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to figure out who, who, who the killer is? Correct. That's right. From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. It, it it can't be. Someone ac actually killed? There's no way. If you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. I I won't believe it. One of us killed by a queer? There's no way. Something as hopeless as that would ever happen. <laughs> if you're actually thinking that way. It means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Come on, come on. Let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened. And it's already started. 
It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Ah, uh, good old Monami. Hey, what are you saying? Evelyn, please, you cannot, you should not. Believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much you interfere, there's only ever one truth. Which is true. On my grandfather's... On your grandfather? That, hold on, that is a weird thing to say. I'm print screen now, we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna try to talk about that. Your grandfather's name. Now that, that could just be a Japanese thing, because it's a Japanese game, is it not? But... To swear on your grandfather. That suggests that the person who is in control of Monokuma this time. At least has family ties. Now obviously everyone has a grandfather so it doesn't really tell us much. But if we, if we can rule out people who maybe just really do not care. Or... Um, grand grandparents at all, or even family. If we find that somebody actually just hates family, I'm confused. We'll figure that out in a bit. We'll talk about it. <laughs> you have a grandpa. Oh my grandfather's grave. Grave? Your grandpa is dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's plane. What happened to your grandpa? Did he did his plane crash? I I don't I don't even know where to begin. At this rate. <coughs> Did you see that? <coughs> that stunning display of power? If I your big brother, I will show no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson. You won't soon forget. Oh wow, there's blood in there. Oh wow, that's that's really interesting actually. Unless that's oil. The, the issue with Danganronpa is that... All blood is presented as pink. But that could also be the same colour as oil. Because if the consistency of one liquid isn't uh, realistic, who is to say that any consistency and any uh, physical boundaries of any liquid are realistic? So that could be oil or... Uh, water coolant or something or oh, it could be blood which if it is blood <coughs> that suggests that you tell me is actually a real person inside there which I doubt uh, if only I had my magic stick I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma fine, fine. yeah yeah whatever <coughs> let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation now then, in the spirit of lovey, do uh, lo lovey doubt and dovey deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> and with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What is this? What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. A search for Bear Queer's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Ugh, give me a break. <clears throat> Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um... Uh, you can't doubt each other, because you're all friends. Understand? But Ham uh, Hams really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is... We're all gonna get killed, right? 
That being said, I cannot abide by this. But now that I have finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. Seriously? Did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Now we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you. No! Friends are doubting friends! It's a major no-no! Shut up! Shut up! Why you shut up? Go away already, you useless piece of trash! Friends are scary! Ah, oh, my voice. <clears throat> this is what I get for just eating before doing this. <clears throat> Well, the knife then <coughs> is likely to have went in the bottom, but by the way, I got rid of all the knives. And the only person who had the knife was, um, who would have had the box of all the equipment was Sword Stabby Lady. So that makes her an actual uh, a suspect now, which I don't like to do, so I don't think she killed. Do we r really have to do it? No, I don't want to do something like that. I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However, However it is just as Hyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed by Akoya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason... I'll do it. And investigate Pyakoya's death. I'll do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. No but that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. No, you're falling into philosophical realms. Don't do that. <coughs> Let's talk realism, guys. There was a body right in front of us. Somebody have had to murder him. Monokuma, although... Yes, we know Monokuma has killed people in the past. And is willing to basically lie to get away with things. He wouldn't be the first one to kill. The whole point is he wants somebody to fall to that despair. And that's why he bribes you. That's why he gives you motive. Right? We know this about Monokuma. And I think anyone could probably figure that out by... Uh, for Monokuma's actions. Ugh. So it's clearly got to be one of us here. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight him. Um, before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know. <laughs> oh yeah! It would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. Destroy the evidence? Ah, oh, my voice. <clears throat> Strip. <clears throat> mm, pardon me. <laughs> Destroy the evidence? Pointing. Look! Over there, that big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. What the heck? What happened? That guy... Yeah. He has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is... Is that what that means? Um, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by by a queer side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Mahiru. Um, um. Oh, bless her. I, I want her just to survive. I feel like she's going to die, but I want her to survive. Because she's absolutely one of the best cowards in this. I'll do my best. I'll do my my very best to not, not get in your way. I I have medical training, so 
If it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy. But please? So you're going to stay as well? Is that okay? And what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on the beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed the Aquila. This, this is awful logic. Well, I mean, if you're asking for alibis, that's one thing. People now have to think of alibis, but what are most alibis going to be? I was in the room where he died. So I, the first point of, clip, uh, point of order is figuring out when he died. And it's pretty obvious when that was. That was when the lights went out. Now that could be a bait and switch. Uh, which I hadn't think, thought of. Maybe someone... But we heard a... We heard a... Ah! Right? But with all his layers of fat, would that be enough to kill him? So... The, the reason this, this crime couldn't have happened normally is because... The blood would end up on the, the perpetrator. Um, unless he was killed from behind, right? Like a stab to the foot waistline. <clears throat> but okay, we'll, we'll try this. Um, but trying to pick up our alibis is going to be stupidly hard at this rate. But... <clears throat> Perform an autopsy on your friend. How oh, cruel. <coughs> ah, my voice. <coughs> there we go. But I have, uh, ba -da -ba, there's a, well, one note there which I can't get. One pitch. But I have no choice. There it is. Let me get a bit more drink. But I, but I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. I, w I won't believe where your girl got killed. I don't believe that at all. Uh. <laughs> Fine, uh, I'm in. You are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is worse. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. That's our only hope for survival, so now this is hope. You can sell us, so we gotta do it. Investigation time, right. Oh. What? <laughs> <coughs> you thought it was time for the investigation, but... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a monokuma file? Jeez, explain the rules or the time really breaks my bones. Why, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the detail uh, the dead body. <laughs> I've waited two years so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. <laughs> such a nice guy. I'm so nice. I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. <coughs> my, my, my. Mono me, the meaningless mascot, you're still here. You stupid, Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. I have to get the hell out of here with me. <coughs> Don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. <coughs> ah, my voice. Okay. I finally got on the monokuma file, huh? The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. Alright. Are they multiple stab marks? 
The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and the abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries, and no chemicals such as poison were detected. <coughs> so, Boyakoy really is dead. Damn it, you promised that there wouldn't even be one victim. Why did you end up being one? And now I never know what you're going to say to me. I cannot talk to, uh, I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my sceptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up like this. <coughs> in the end, what did he even mean? Could it be... If even so... <coughs> If there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Then to be your ally in tricking you guys, it can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? Was he a traitor? Well, only in the sense I think he was a good guy. No way, just because he said a lot of serious things, it doesn't mean that he was a traitor. What am I thinking? I can follow number one, okay. Anyway, we need to carefully examine it, I think. Put myself for the worst. Right. The Duralium case is one. Her picture is going to be two. The autopsy is going to be three. AC remote control could be four. Let's start with the body. But the only thing on top of the table is that really catch my eye is the lamp. It looks like an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Okay, nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so now it's not the time for me to flinch. Gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly look beneath the table. <clears throat> Ow! The knife was glued to the top of the table. Okay, that's how the murder weapon got in here. You had access to the tape. I think playing will smell like rusted iron hanging in the air. In the back of my eyes, I slowly shift my gaze towards Bukoi's body. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of helpful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Bukoi's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. So the tape. Tape is one thing. So it's the back of the tape. Is it duct tape? It seems to be a paint applied to the non-sticky side. Glow in the dark tape. A glow in the dark paint. It seems to glow dully. So the knife has also got this. So that was how the killer was able to see it. Is this the weapon that killed Briacoya? Hold on. How did Killer bring this knife to dining table in the first place? Patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this whole building. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. And the paint has been applied to the hilt. Blowing paint. Okay. So we can say the knife was attached to the the duct tape under the table. That's how the weapon got in the room. My prediction then is, is bogus. Why is this? <clears throat> Looks like binoculars, but and binoculars are not there glow in the dark. Hashime, they they those aren't binoculars. I don't know what are they? They're probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. And they also stock self defense kits too. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Ryakura during the blackout? No. Ryakura used these, they were in his Duralium case that he kept on him for safety stuff. Right, we can. this is quite easy to figure out so far. By his collapsed face down on the table, as if he was in the middle of attempting something it looks like he was. 
He was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and the abdominal region. A blood stain. From a, from a huge pool on the table, that's a lot of blood. There's blood spattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. He was stabbed underneath the table. Yeah, we, we've pretty much figured out most things. The AC units can be something else, but let's check the Duralium case. We can start talking to people in a bit. And this metal case, Bakery had with him. I believe he said it was made out of Duralium. The last time I saw it was closed, but there's a taser, there's gloves, there's a key, which is for the other case. So the other case wasn't used. There's something in a black box that was opened, and a flask of some kind, and some kind of baton. Like a nightstick and pepper spray. Ah, oh, that's pepper spray then. What's this? That's the night vision goggles case. And what was inside? Small game. Must be the key to the Duralium case. That other case was in the office and all the collected dangerous items were inside of it. The key to the Duralium case is right here. Then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Baker was taken from that case. True. Have this random case in the first place. No, I can't be right. It's way too overboard. Maybe to prevent a killer. Maybe he knew somebody was going to kill. Maybe. It's half time by the way for the football match. 1 0 to England so far. The AC unit. Air conditioner, could it be? Why can't you have a little more grown up? No, oh, what's that sound just now? The air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. The air conditioner is remote control. The timer is set to 11.30 pm. Time of death is around the same time. So somebody set the time to go off. Okay. My kind of sound before the blackouts probably came from the air conditioner. Okay. Can the AC timer turn off the lights? Or can it create enough heat or cold, cold air to basically overload the system? Right. There's a camera underneath this table. Mm. There's nothing else of note in this room by the looks of it. So it's only left the people to talk to. Let's talk to Gundam first. Oh, hellhound earring, Gundam, I call. Oh yeah, where he's, where he lost his earring. Is this ever futile as well? Are you still looking for the earring you dropped? It's not a mere earring. It is the Hellhound earring. Long ago in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through immunal battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood, and its drenched blood-red fur with dry and howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolical beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. The Hellhound Earring. So that I will never forget that night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. I wear that earring at all times. 
Is it all about, really, about a freaking Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor. Clapping didn't cover the whole floor might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. That would explain how, I guess, maybe someone who wasn't in the room got there or somebody disappeared. Ah, there it is. I found it. Truly, it is the Hellhound here. It seems God exists for my benefit. I see good for you. However, how do I recover it? I can't put my arm through this opening. Where I were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Maybe you should give, give up. Give up? What? The world? I mean, give up the earring. Fool, have you not realized yet? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of post knowledge. But even with all those not, uh, layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I'll do something about it on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. By any means, his determination is truly inspiring. But if it'd be nice if you actually help me with the investigation. Gaps and floorboard. Yeah, that's that's a real interesting one. Let me look through the gaps in the floor. No. Uh, Mahira, can we see your photograph? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Billy Koya is alive and well, and in, in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? And that hasn't been determined yet. You've already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? Then we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. That's a great, a good narrative. Bullshit. If, if only I'd had karma during the blackout, my queen might still be alive. This whole thing would have never happened. She's gonna lose it. Right, I feel that Mikan is actually gonna really pull herself together during all this. Whereas I think that she is really gonna start to uh, lose herself. I think she's gonna kill somebody out of pure guilt that she's gonna rack up by herself. Right? Predict that, you know. Prediction, I think she's gonna kill someone. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Yeah, you feminist. Hey, how do you mean? Forget about what I just said. Got it? Yep, no, that's fine. Got it. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. First, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Photos! The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Yes, let's see them. Hey, Pokoya! Everyone, come on, I'm gonna take a picture! Alright, say your cheese! Yeah, show me those pictures. Oh yeah, the pictures. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera, so I can show them to you right now. Yes! Right. Let me see, it's this photo. You were trying to hold in the P. I'm happy. Lucky Boy is nearest to the AC. Hmm. Oh. Oh, no, this is interesting. We can't see if he has his earring on. But hold on, listen to this, right? What if Bayakoya fell through the floor? So we know that the earring fell through the floor over around there, we're guessing. That's the same place that Bayakoya is. And if the blood stain didn't come from anywhere, 
what if he died there? Like, he fell through the ground, was stabbed, and then was brought up over there. Maybe this is a two-man job. We have Lucky Boy and... Um, What's the name working together? Chef Boy. Chef Boy RD. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Huh? Is there something wrong? I didn't realise it until now, but right before the blackout, Bokoya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Yeah, I think he fell through the floor. Was he spawning under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Boku was standing along the wall farthest away from the table. You're right, that is pretty far. There's something... Everyone's standing position for the blackout might be a huge clue. Can, hey, can you approximate everyone's standing uh, position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Would that actually provide a clue? Yeah, because the only person in that room who you don't see is Chef Boyondi. I don't know yet, but I feel like you could. Leave it to me. Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. Alright, now that's decided. You better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Right, I I love to hate her. I, I think I have a love-hate relationship with this girl. Because I think she can be absolutely one of the best characters. Except she just feels like she constantly hates everyone around her. It, well, all the guys. Yeah, I know, but I guess she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. Yeah. Like, I feel bad to say it, but I'd rather her be down. Also, though, that he was the closest to the AC. Hey, Ajime, hey, there's something I want to run by you. Well, a blackout occurred, but your career was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. And if Boyakoya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Yes. When I didn't mention it. Why is this something we're only just figuring out now? Honestly, I hate that the characters are this slow. But why was Boyakoya's body under a table? Because I think somebody came in, found there's a secret way to get people from under the table, kill him over there, and drag him over there and put him on top of the table. That's... Very unlikely thing, but it's the most likely. Even if I tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed with me forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I would know it was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. But if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Who would have heard something? Talking about her. Oh, Ibuki, maybe. Being a musician, and a mechanic, I think you're the last person you'd speak to. Me. <laughs> I must, I must investigate my, my, my classmate's body. <clears throat> yeah, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. And that's why I need to do it. Do, 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 do it somehow. Uh, before you start, why didn't, why didn't you calm down a bit? Alright, I need, I need to calm down fast. I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious how you felt earlier. I'm terribly sorry about that. Uh, for showing you something, something so unsightly. I think she fell due to the carpet being moved, or something like that. Oh, you made me remember it again. Oh, we can't see if she fell on the uh, carpet or the boards. It looks kind of like the boards. I don't know, would you end up like that? 
When I got startled by the blackout, I slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up, I slipped on the carpet. It's so terribly embarrassing. Please, please erase it from your memory. Even if you asked me, I wouldn't be able to get it so easily. Sorry. I can't stand it. That was imposed, been added to the truth bullet section. Well, should I investigate? A moment? What is it? When we finish with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. I'm told that one of us is a killer, it can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. Uh, but why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a scent similar to mine. We both have a special feeling towards Hope's Peak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Uh, fine, if we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. I'm glad it'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what you said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now I guess for now, we should search inside this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Now, just the dining hall, I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout the entire building. You're right. Right, so there's a couple of rooms to really think about. The kitchen for the weapon. Oh, hello, Miko. We should ask you what you heard. The toilet was locked, so we, that's the place of mystery. This room for the office for the AC, and that's where Peko was, and we couldn't find her. Now, Yuta wants to go in there, and the storage room is probably my first place of call. Right. This is where I think we're going to find the paint, if anything. Very dusty and dark. My hands were full clean the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It's been, even has cobwebs, there's no way I could stay in here for a long time. What are we looking for here? Some kind of paint. Or hidden room. Or flat boxes. Yep. Uh, are, are these irons? Recent turn on, but why are there three irons on the ironing board? They were turned on. They overloaded the thing to cause the blackout, right? I thought your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Bear Quay after the blackout, I also found these irons, but all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. We've had a bit of a blackout happened, so I turned them off. But doesn't it feel kind of sinister? Yeah, so they used that to create heat. Uh, the heat would affect the AC, cause a blackout. Potentially. A tablecloth could be one. Night and a laundry hamper. The laundry hamper, I think, might. Perhaps. Is this a tablecloth? Wait, huh? Oh, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Huh? A blood stain? It's too dark, I can't really see that clearly. This is clearly a blood stain, which means this tablecloth is connected to Boyoko as murder. So it was used to move the body, maybe? What's to clean up after the body? Seriously, this, it is a bloodstain. How, How much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Uh, see, this is making me cautious of him. I'm still 50-50 on who I think the killer is. White hair lucky boy. Or chef boy RD. Sonia, let's talk to you, because we like you, Sonia. Um, there is something I... <clears throat> no, it's just partially regal. Um, there is something I want to ask you. What is it? Um, it appears that only the wall is a different colour and material. Why is that? Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? You've never seen one before. It's a door that shuts off, no, it shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. And if that happens, you can run away, right? I see. It is like a barrier. Just like 
Just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. Uh, that's only done to keep cats from getting in. Uh, you know about cats keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? <laughs> Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Fire doors, they would have shut. So the time they keep it on, someone would have been trapped by... Why would I hear the... Oh, I see. Okay, that's something we didn't know about. McCann, did you hear anything? Apparently, a, a great man once said, investigation should be done on foot. So, that's when I use my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, there's no meaning. Hey, Ash, mate, I just realised something. Could she, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? Yes. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Huh? How'd you know? Uh, so, you did hear us. Even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If you're hearing so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. When that blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Just leave it to a bookie. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? La 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 la! I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. She should make a, uh, she should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us uh, what you heard? Leave it to me. I'm going to take a bite out of you. If you tell us, I'll let you buy Hajime later. Stop it, what if she takes you seriously? Let's see, the first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That was right, it was Mihiru. Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next voice was mine. <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's to the point that it has some unique charm. I just continue. Then there was more voices, one after the other. Negato went out. Every terror came in then. But if what we're suggesting is true, then the fire doors would have to be shut. Alrighty, that's pretty much it. Alright, awesome. Praise me, praise me. Give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagato, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Bayakuya said during the blackout. What Bayakuya said? Why, did he say something like that? Rather, why was he, why was he able to say that? What the hell, what's going on here? And this, this is... What do you mean? Why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? Hmm. It's not like I really care. Anyway, don't you think your bookie's account, uh, is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Then praise me, let me bite you. Ouch, why are you really biting me? Bookie's account has been added to the truth bullets. Lovely. So, if what I think is right, Teru Teru would have been in the kitchen. But to be in the kitchen, he would have had to turn these on, come over here, and the fire doors would automatically shut, I'm guessing, or maybe not if the circle's overloaded. 
But if the door shuts, he wouldn't be able to get in here. Which is interesting to say the least. Oh wow, I've missed some stuff. The game started like uh, another, like nine minutes ago and two more goals have been scored. Wow, okay. It's now 3-0, England versus Ukraine. What a uh, surprise. <laughs> uh, who's in here? Tero Tero? Just Tero Tero. The knives are gone. Uh, hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Toto? -to? The blackout totally scared me. At first I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen. The hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everyone's voices, so I bumped along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But the place is pitch black too. I, it was like pitch black everywhere. And you used the kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Ah, that's impossible. The gas stove needs electricity to work, so it's directly affected by the blackouts. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Right, that's a good point then. Oh, so he must have. So he would have been in the thing to turn it on to break the circuit. That still makes sense. My, my theory still holds out. Equipment list? Well, we're just reading from through the list. It looks like the knife next to my clothes body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears we've been brought from outside. Now, how did we kind of get past Bakoy's body check? Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat downs. If that's the case, then he probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Yes. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates, barbecue, and even portable stove for cooking hot pots. Uh, but it's all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. So, was it brought in from outside? So the person who killed, killed in advance, they knew they were going to kill. And the only people allowed in the building were ha uh, Hajime, I think his name is. And Teru Teru. No, it's not the Hajime. My Hajime? That's N uh, Nagito. So these are my two suspects. Nagito and Teru Teru. Hmm. Do you already click on him? Yeah, we already did. Let's skip this. Look at the dishes. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine, fish dishes, and a big piece of meat on the bone, too. Isn't it amazing that meat is so big? Even I was shocked. The dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Aoyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Aoyama or Azabu. I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big. Where'd you get it? I asked Nakumaru. Apparently, he killed a cow at the ranch uh, with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Oh! That busy easy. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Disney talks about stuff. Oh, it's been a long time since I've had that boy. What are you American? How are you all doing? I hope you enjoyed your stream, and thank you very much for the follow. That's greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully your stream went good. We're we're in the middle of the first uh, investigation in... Hey, oh, thank you all three of you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Busy Izzy. Thank you, Sakura just... <laughs> Shouted, and Disney talks about stuff. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm good. Uh, yeah, we're just making our way through the first investigation. You do have the best name. You really do. 
Uh, so this is our first playthrough of this. We did Danganronpa 1 about six months ago. We finally got around to this. And we are making our way through. Uh, Bayakoya has just been killed. And we're just figuring out... Well, I've, I've had my theory. We, we started this investigation last week. We literally just ended with the death. And I came up with my, my little theory last uh about a week ago if you had to guess who the killer right now who is it ah it's a two people in this room right let me uh get through this uh but it doesn't seem by the way my theory is completely wrong so far the weapon wasn't what i thought it was the uh way of killing doesn't seem right um but i've got a new part of the theory but we'll get to that um doesn't seem completely possible because hands this look like they were they specialise in punching things. I want to get punched by those hands. Who is Nekimaru again? Uh, he's so wild. He took me right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Ayama and Azabo. Uh, so wild country things like that. They slip my mind a lot, you know? Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste. Since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were... Akane and Peko, who took some portions for herself. Maybe the food had a sleeping drug in it. That could make sense. <laughs> Nekimaru's a shit dude. Yes, now I know who it is. Uh, Nekimaru's bleach seaweed for hair. He, he really does. He really does. So, these two people in the room, uh, Nagato and Teruteru, are the two people I think uh, could be the killers. Um, because what we've discussed is the knife came in from outside, which means that the only three people who had access to the building before the body packs and stuff were the victim, Nagito, and Teru Teru. And I doubt the victim killed himself, which means it's just these two. And I'm, st I think. The chef is the more likely answer. That's what I'm thinking. Last week, I thought it was those two for pretty much the same reason. But it was like, you know when you do math and you, you get the right answer, but you go the completely wrong way of getting the answer. You, you do some weird magic and suddenly you get the right thing. That's, that's what I think I've done. For the same weird logic, I've ended up with these two. Uh, the only ones who ate any food were Akane and Peko, who took some portions for herself. We gotta check if uh, Akane... Is it Akane or... I don't know how to say her name. Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. Well, it's not like I actually believed it, but if there really is a killer out there, you'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. Yeah, which makes me think he's a killer. Nobody ate the food but two people. We need to check on those two people. <laughs> yeah, I was in Danganronpa 1. My thought phrase, uh, process was awesome. I uh, There's the character Chihiko, I think it is, who um, dresses as a girl but is actually a guy. And I believe that's not me misidentifying them. I'm pretty sure that they themselves identify as a guy, but I'm using they pronouns because I don't know. Um, but I was there. I, I talked to her before. Him, oh, I'm messing up. <laughs> I talked to them before they actually died. Spoilers. And they said about, oh, what? how likely is it that you get a female programmer? And she was like, oh, she got really upset by this. And for like two, stream two streams straight, so eight hours, I'm going, going is a girl, uh, is not a girl, not a girl, not a girl, not a girl, for, for two streams. Because I was like, I figured it out like that. Um, I, I was so impressed with myself. I should have, I should have clipped it. 
uh, we got a new truth bullet. I guess I'm pretty much finished my investigations in here. Let's get going. Sure thing. Right, so let me let me run down what I think so far. So I don't know how fire doors work. I don't know if a fire happens or heat happens if they automatically shut. Right? But I think using what we know so far. Bayakoya used his night vision goggles from his thing to try and see in the dark. Teru Teru, because I don't think it was Nagato at this point. I think I'm leaning towards Teru Teru. Was underneath the floorboards, maybe? And... I mean, that's, that's a stretch. But we know from the picture that she was over... Uh, he was over here. But we also know from the picture... That Nagato was over by the AC. So he could have messed around with it. But I think Terra Terra was underneath the floorboards. And I think they're, you know, there's, we know there's gaps in them. But I managed to get okay, Boyagoya in there. Drag him over to here. Move the wooden things when everyone went out to investigate. Brought him up there. And then covered him up with a tablecloth. I mean, that, that's outlandish. It really is, compared to what I thought would happen. Which was just like, oh, we've been told there's gaps in the floorboard because that's where the weapon was hidden. But now we clearly know that the weapon was hidden with the tape. So, the weapon was hidden up there. But the fact the bloodstain isn't going anywhere... Makes me think he, he must have either been hiding under the table or he was brought under the floorboards and brought there. I don't know. Um, the first game was was mad. I didn't know what I was doing for the longest time. Oh, also, we know the irons were left on in here. So, I think the irons were left on, caused the blackout by, you know, that takes a lot of power. Uh, we found there was um, a blade tablecloth in there, and I don't quite know how that works at the minute. I don't know where that fits in. Uh, and then we've just talked in the kitchen... If these fire doors sh were shut and they were locked shut, it proves that Terra Terra wasn't in the kitchen when it went off. That's my logic. Uh, which leaves us with the toilet and the office, and possibly going outside. Is is Chitter in here? It's locked. Someone appears to be inside since the unisex bathroom. I don't know who's actually in there. Is someone in there? There's no response. It's going nowhere. That that's odd. Why would the toilet be shut? We know the toilet's been shut since the beginning. So unless somebody locked it on purpose to do something in there. Okay, and this is the last room, and Pe Pekka was in here. And the old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Rather than talk to the other people. I can't tell if that's something under the desk. Right, circuit breaker. Where's... Am I done? by circuit breaker? Oh, there. Okay, I'm just blind. That must be this old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Oh no 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 no. Okay okay. I'm figuring. Uh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I was like, how does the heat from the iron trigger the AC? To, I'm just dumb. They just overloaded it by ha by turning everything on. 
So if they turn everything on, it creates the electricity that just overloads the circuit and the circuit trips. That makes sense. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a stepladder, you won't reach it. Yeah, I, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but... You're right, even with a stepladder, there's no way you'll be able to reach the, that circuit breaker. Which means, uh, someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? That solves that problem. Let's try and do my monokuma voice again. Ah. I did it! <laughs> it it's here! You idiots have no idea what to do about the blackout. So I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. And by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. Gives you Melanie Martinez. Yes, yes it does. I completely forgot she existed. My god. It does though, doesn't it? But how did someone... Oh wait, that's me. How did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reached a circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. L liar. I'm serious, wanna see? Wanna see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross! Screw desk! Uh, no thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh, really? Such a shame. Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'll take first place! Okay. What the hell? So, he's the one who reset the breaker. Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? By turning on the everything, we figured it out. If they didn't trip it or set, or set it to be tripped. Right, so now we can start talking to people. Echo, I'm confused. If she fell asleep after eating the food, that that confirms my suspicions that it's Teru Teru. I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, who would you say are your favourite characters? Ah! I'm glad you asked. Hold on. That should hopefully bring you to the right screen. I made a, a tier list last week. Oh, I've got it on the wrong thing. I'm dumb. There you go. I made a tier list last... Uh, both this game and the first. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Sakura, for popping in. I'm I'm taking that means bye. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, though. It's greatly appreciated. We're now one of 100 followers, so that's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh... But for this so far, this is my, my tier list of characters. Um... I think they're going to change a bit. So far, literally, I put almost all the girl characters at least. Well, other than... What's her name here? Can't remember her name, traditional dancer. I don't like her. She, she's mean. <laughs> that, that's about it. I I love Game Girl. What kind of... Chir... Chiraki, maybe? I, I can't remember her name at the minute. I like Sonya, and I like, um, Miyaki, I want to say. No, Mikan, Mi Mi Mikan. Disney, thank you so much for joining as well. Feel uh, I stream, by the way, 8 till 12, uh, G well, is it GMT now, or is it another time? England time. 8 to 12 uh, England time on the weekends at the minute, and we're going to be carrying on with this for next couple of weeks so if you do want to pop in feel free it'll be amazing to see you there but thank you very much for joining and thank you very much for the follow bye bye um but yeah most of the most of the female characters 
I, I'll be honest. Shit yourself, guy. I'm not too impressed with at the minute. Oh, it, I'm really struggling to remember names. I'm trying my best. Um, Nagito, I want to say. I don't trust him for the life of me. I mean, when I, in the last one, you had um, the character I literally only know as that bitch. Because she tried to set you up. And from the very beginning, because she was like, Oh no, Makoto, protect me. Defend me. Look after oh, I was like, she's going to kill. Or she's going to try and kill. Or she's going to try and blame it on us. And she is evil. I don't trust her for the life of me. And what happened? She tried to kill somebody and blame it on us. Spoilers. So, same logic. I don't like Nagato. I feel like he could be a really useful, helpful character. But I also think he could be a, a sicko. Uh, Yusami, I, I I like. I've got to say I like Yusami so far. It's just a bit... A bit annoying. Monokuma, I didn't really move. I should have moved him somewhere. Because it's probably a B for me. Um, What's his name? That actually surprised me. I was so prepared. I w literally, I called from the very beginning. I'm guessing you've played the first game, so I don't have to give spoiler warnings. Um, but spoiler warnings anyway. Uh, I predicted that... Um, I can't remember her name. Fashion girl who died by Monokuma at the very beginning. I predicted that she wasn't really dead. It didn't make sense to me why Monokuma would kill somebody over a tiny little thing like that at the very beginning. It just it just never made sense to me. So I was like certain from the very beginning that she was in control of Monokuma. Now I didn't predict the sister thing. I, I didn't get that till much, much later. But I from the very beginning went. She's controlling Monokuma. Because if I know if I was in that position, I'm going to make it look like I'm out of the game, right? So people will not suspect somebody they literally saw die. Well, how would you do that? You die in front of them. In quotes, you die in front of them. And you get out of it. Uh, we're talking about the rest. Peko, I, I don't have any problem with at the minute. I think she's okay. Um... Ibuki, I think, can be, be a bit loud and annoying, but other than that, she just seems, you know, lovely. Ake, again, loud, but lovely. Photo Girl, I am on the fence about. I think she can be really lovely sometimes. Like, she, I, I got the special scene, actually, where she invites you to, like, the um, bake cakes of all the girls. And that was that was really nice. That was a really nice scene. I don't know how I got this, but that was that was nice. We're gonna ignore the random lewdness of Ibuki. Um, but then like she's mean to you whenever you're trying to be nice to her, and she suddenly gains her composure. She's like, "Ugh, you." And I feel like she's got a very uh, what's it word misandrist? Like she really distrusts men or dislikes men for no she, she might have a reason i don't know but i've just got that vibe about her uh in the same way uh main character seems dumb at the minute but i really like his skepticism at the beginning yakuza guy i have no problem with he at the minute is the most relatable character of just fuck off away from me i'm gonna sort my own stuff out uh, Sonya's ad adorable, she's living her own life, uh, in a little ditzy way. Mikan, again, love, love her to bits. She's, I mean, the the random lewd tripping over everything is a bit, yeah. But other than that, bless her heart. Soda, I'm on the fence about, he's simping a bit for Sonya. Uh, but other than that, I think he's the, the best male cat so far. And that just leaves 
game ago who it, she invited you Sammy to things I'm like you know what favorite character gamer sleepy actually smart best girl anyway let's get back to the game at hand um <laughs> and we'll carry this on uh so we were we were talking to Pekko weren't we however it doesn't surprise me an unexpected blackout occurred and during that time the Akoya were killed uh, am I planning on playing the third game I am however it's probably going to be a while because as I said, I left it um, December to play the first one, December, January time. Absolutely had a blast, but I felt like I needed a massive downtime before the second game. And that's uh, really got me hyped up uh, to play it. Like, if I show this again um, of my, like, theories that I made, if you can see the time on that, that's like 4 a.m. in the morning. That I was up going, oh, but this could happen. Oh, but what about, what about, uh, uh, you, you, this, and, you know, making my, my midnight, well, mid-morning ramblings. Um, so I, I think I will, I'll definitely play it, because I'm loving these so far. <laughs> you need a, uh, a relax. Um. The circuit breaker is in this office, naturally. I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait. Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I so I was right. You you weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the duralium case with all the weapons in it? So where'd you run off to on your own? Maybe he... Terry Terry put laxatives in the food. Because we haven't seen... Uh, oh, we haven't seen uh, Akane. Uh, uh, Izzy, should I go to head out? You gotta go to dinner. Absolutely fair enough. Thank you, Izzy, for joining. We're still going to be doing this for another two hours. So if you do finish and do want to come back, feel free. If not, I hope you enjoy your dinner and have a wonderful night. Thank you very much for joining and thank you very much for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Uh... Yeah, so if, if Territory put laxatives in, that explains why the toilet's uh, blocked. Or, not, you know, locked. Because Pekko's in there at the beginning. Or or during the, the thing. Well, it doesn't explain who's in it at the beginning, actually. Ha. Huh, that, that, hmm. We're figuring that out. And we haven't seen Arcane yet. And maybe she's in the toilet. You never know. Well, that is... Ugh. Ugh. So he dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. What happened? No, I'm... I'm just not too, feeling too well. I... I apologise, but please excuse me. What the heck? E excuse me? What, what was that? Hey. Echo, it appears the bathroom is inc uh, inside this whole building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like it would be a tough path. Echo wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? It's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekko as it is. What does that mean? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Oh, is that really what it is? Uh, the Duranian case has not been opened. Which will contain all the dangerous items. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe, but it's locked. Yep. Had the key in the... Yep. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Down it's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? Let's <laughs> open it. What's in it? See, it's open. Bolt, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. It's not possible the killer took anything from here. Excuse his case was inside the case Bakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. Uh, the AC is another thing. Let's check that. 
Uh, huh? What time of here is it to 11.30? Yes. So both of them are set to 11.30. I feel like we've got this under wraps. Hey, isn't Pekka the killer? Why do you think that? Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Breakaway after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was gone. I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonya will yell at me. Pekka's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Breakaway. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like, an assassin, right? It's not like you look any better. Yeah, but okay, so it's pretty certain that she went to the bathroom or something. Now tonight, I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going. Which only really leaves the bathroom if we can try that. Looks like you pretty much finished looking around the old building. How about we check out Bayakoya's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. Okay. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? To be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like instead of living without doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. What a positive young man who I think could be a killer. <laughs> Don't talk like that. We don't know so we can live, you know? And as I thought, you sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Alright All right, then, let's get going to be a cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. At the there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Ah. That's a way to get in under the floorboards. What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. My god, I hate him. We're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. See, uh, this is why I love Sha uh, Shaki. Lovely, adorable girl who gets everything right. I see. Under the floor, but huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. That's because you're dumb, Nagito, or you're a murderer. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I lay didn't reach the table where we found Bakoya's body, right? And the dining hall floor had a huge gap between the floorboard. <sighs> it was. Is it possible the killer killed Bakoya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep. That's what I thought. So I'm trying to see if we can get undo it from here. Well, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... Even so, I, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Well... No, that's not possible. Are you sure? Anyway, it seems you can get under the floor from outside the building, and that's a relief. Relief? Why? Because if you get under the floorboard from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Oh, that's right, it'd be Higo. I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well? Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, you Higo came here. Mm. Huh, he did? What happened, Fihiko? Well, hey, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm sending guards, and Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. Huh. How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? 
I don't know. Not even if you paid me. Pies are stupid. They made me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do I have to report you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... Leave me alone. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? He probably wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. Oh, how's the football like? Oh, it's 4 now. Hey! 89 minutes as well. Hey, Maguire scored. Look at this. 4 0 against Ukraine. We're doing awesome. You can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? When do we start talking about video games? Uh, I would ha Can we just continue talking about video games? I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. That's the relief. I'm, I'm glad. He keeps saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. Well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Beakoya's cottage. As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I will most assuredly reclaim the hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. Um, I guess for now I've discovered the building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there, I think. Also, Yuhiko came by not long after the party started. Okay. Oh, we can check inside the lobby. Um, Nagi, do you have anything to say? Okay, let's go to the place upstairs because we might find a missing knife there. Nope, never mind. I was hoping we might find the missing knife in here. It would it would tell us where the knife came from. Oh, that's Fihiko. Hey. What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? Uh, that's not happening. Did you didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently Bay Koi is the one who got killed. So what? What did you say? Do you, do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Checking my alibi, huh? Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Jackie said she saw you in the front of the old building. <laughs> Nosy bitch. Yeah, it's true. I went for a little walk and then, just by chance, I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you're actually trying to join the party. Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! Alright, I got it. Dumbass. Yeah, he's he's definitely the uh, Sundere character. Can we check the map? Hold on. Find out where people are, because we haven't seen... A cane anywhere. Oh, she's over there. Akane is... Where's that? The beach? Why is she in the shop? To see who's picked up the items? Hmm. 
The only place, actually, the only person who I can't see is anywhere is Shit, shit Boy. Unless he's in the toilet. Actually, talking about shit boy, let me just quickly go to the toilet. I'll be back in a minute.
Right, we are back. Okay. So we need to go to Boyakoya's uh, cabin. We don't know where what his name is. All right. Um, is he gonna let me leave so I can talk to other people? Oh, that was a that was a. Oh wait, pet. So there's somebody in the rocket punch market. I believe there was one at the was it the ranch or the beach. Hmm. Which reason coming here? Let's. Okay, we talk to uh, Yoko. To be honest, I feel sorry about the loss of Mr. Ham Hands. I should and she's still calling him that. What are you doing here anyway? Did you find any clues for the case? Um, nope, nothing. I'm here because I have important business to do. Important business? You wanna know? I'm at a uh, snack, so I came here to get some. Snacks? Yay! Yeah, this one. My favorite gummies. There's a lot of gummies here. Snacks, not the case, huh? Hey, hey! Ah, but it's not just gummies, you know? Cookies, chocolates, candies, everything I like is here. Jeez. But I really want to eat a Japanese foods. Not here. Such a lousy selection. I think I should like Japanese foods. They seem like what the ultimate traditional dancer would like. But... It can't be helped to tolerate these goodies and some such a nice girl. Perhaps... They're probably night vision goggles. I see them in the supermarket. You yeah, might know something about the night vision goggles. Hey, I don't know what to ask you. Aww. What now? Understand? If you want to ask, why don't you show your attitude? As uh, easy for you to say. <laughs> You're totally panicking. You're funny, so I'll answer for you. Yeah, thanks. Then, did you notice anything missing here? Like something that's not food or items you choose on a daily basis? Hmm. Missing? Hmm. Probably a self defense kit. They are clearly less here than. They were clearly less here than they were before. Self-defense kit? That's probably what's in Bioko's uh, Duranium case. Uh, Looks like one pair of night vision goggles is missing too. I think that's it. I see. Thanks. Just like thought, the kid got night vision goggles in here and just used them for their crime. Hey, you. hey Ajime! Hey. You owe me one, got it? You better pay your back double someday, okay? <laughs> it's a promise! Surely I'm in terrible debt. Um, hmm. What's in the vending machine? I don't think I've got any money. Oh, I do. Ramune, not really what she's gonna want. Chocolate chip jerky she could like. Cod where we get? Let's ship sunflower seeds. Jabanian jewelry. Tips and tips second edition ghost stone. The Jobo dolls. Tissue. Boy camera, replica sword. Ananan. Man's nuts. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably get going. I'm trying to think if there's going to be, like, something else. Um... Um... Um, I'm 
Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, let's just check our pet quickly. I know it hasn't been long. Nope. I don't think there's anyone at the airport. Was there somebody at the beach? I think there was. Oh yeah, Akane's here. Yo. Yo! How's your investigation going? Uh, okay, I guess. How about you? I move around so I can think better. <laughs> if you go for a little swim, I'm sure you'll think of something, don't you think? No wait, before you think, don't you still need to like find a clue as the first step? Huh? How's that supposed to help? Well, don't sweat the complicated stuff. I'm sure she doesn't plan on thinking or investigating. Well, that's seen her. Which I think just leaves Boyakoya's room. Oh, whoops. Hey. Okay, back to Boyakoya's cottage. Just check there's nothing on the ranch. I doubt there is. Nope. Just leaves the hotel. I need to ask him for help. Hey. Monokuma! Did you call me? Uh, Nag Nagito, when when did you train Monokuma? Hey, uh, hey Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Don't be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Bokoi's cottage already. Well... And this is for the class trial. It's something we really need. For the class trial? This is... It's for the class trial? There's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Sure. Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. <laughs> At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. Uh, I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's left a note. Lots of books out. Envelope. This is going to be the clue. To Baikoya Togami. Someone sent to Baikoya? There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. You should check what's inside. Let's see. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. The first kill will happen tonight. So he's, he's known about that. He knew about the first kill. He was a spy. Okay, I do think he's there because 
he was a spy by the first group to infiltrate this to basically make sure that everyone survived. This is... Is this a crime warning? No, it, it says be careful. It's probably threatening there. Because who would send something like this? Maybe... This is why Black Queen suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight because someone made this threat to Bayakoya. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy lesser? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Remember what Boyakea said? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. Unless the killer sent this to him. Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. And at that point, there'd be no turning back. So, Boyakoya tried to do something about this all by himself? Without telling anyone? Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Boyakoya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Boyakoya's death at all. Ah, oh, what, what was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. Let's do it from all the way here and it's just the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this lesson murdered by Aquia, they've got no proof of that. That person completely predicted how by Aquia would react once it, he received it, right? Then planned to manipulate by Aquia and killed him right before our eyes. In that old building. We would never do that. I don't think it's a threat, I think it's just a caution. There's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. And which reminds me, you asked my hero for this favour, right? Yeah, I wanted to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. Uh, that's all you. Huh? I need some time to learn. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I see, I understand. Also, going back to your building, you should hear what Mika has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. I'll see you later. He's pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. Uh, but now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. Right, we're almost ready for the class trial, and... I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do it tonight. But we've got almost two hours, so we should be able to. Uh, this class trial was a... I don't know, where am I? Also, where is... Him. I've checked the entire place, and he's the only one I can't find. He's not in there. He's not on Chapawak Island. So where is he? Is he? Unless he's in the toilet. That's the last thing... Oh, you saw me, sir. You saw me wasn't there before. And Chihiko's gone. Maybe people have different things to say now. Uh... Okay. Yusami, do you have anything to say? Too cruel! This is just too cruel! Oh yeah, I might as well ask you about the old building's windows. Do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. I don't wanna! I don't wanna help you guys mistrust your friends! What? what the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like that. Uh, more importantly, do you know what, why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Iron plates? I covered them up. So nobody makes a mistake going inside, since it's dangerous because of the renovation. 
I see the renovations, that's why you cover them up. Because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island. This isn't how it was supposed to be. But why did it get like this? It's cruel, too cruel. Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying couldn't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. Hey, Monami, you're useless. Uh, I'll keep pressing escape. So, people are now no longer here. Uh, Jihiro's he, do he, do gone inside now? People have moved positions at least, though. Which means maybe now we'll see where Shitty Boy is. Oh, here he is. What the? How was that loud? Damn it. Oh, I turned the corner and there he is. I feel so light hearted right now. I, Nickel Mao Nidia, Nidia, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose to anyone, not even my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? <laughs> what? I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. However, if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you won't underestimate my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve. Uh, do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in a situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole ordeal. Oh well, best not to go into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout? And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Biakura's body was found. That's about how long that lasted. Uh, what he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Are we gonna get... We can't go into the bathroom, can we? Like... Oh, it seems to be open. Well, let me go... Just because you don't... It's clearly... A room in the crime, right? At least we need to rule it out as a possibility. Why... Oh, game. Okay. We'll carry on. We'll carry on. Um. Uh, Shaki's now in here. And two people we've got to talk to. Okay. Shaki, how have you moved in here? Just as I thought, it seems there's no way to get under the floor from inside the old building. Maybe. In this case, I guess I should give up on finding Gundam's earring. I don't know how much I believe that. Mihiro. Hey, you're here. Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering, I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Yeah, sort of. You don't sound too sure. Well, just take a look at this. She just told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout, I tried to pinpoint where everybody was standing. When I did, the di this diagram was the result. Ah, ha ha ha! Okay. This is this is what we need. Teru Teru's got a question mark. Because no one can account for his presence other than himself. Nagito was closest to the body. Hikoya was furthest away. So it's unlikely that he got to there to there by himself. Mikan tripped, which suggests that the Boiko may have went under the floorboards. But I don't know how true that is. Unless there's a way under the floorboards from the storage room, which we can't go past because of the stacked boxes. From a from a game designer point of view, why would you have those stacked boxes there? 
either A, to show how, how dingy and damp the room is, or B, to have a suitable kind of access point. And the only person, well, the only three people outside of that room who could have done it, or four people really, are Fihiko, Shiaki, Peko, and Teru Teru. The only person who has, well, they're only people who have access to the irons. We know the knife came in before anyone else was allowed in, which just leaves Teru Teru as the only person who wasn't pat down as our murderer. I am, I am riding on the Teru Teru train. Uh, so this is everyone's standing positions before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. I've made this diagram from analysing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Baikoe was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible, there's no way you could be able to move that far during the blackout. Oh, what's that line extending from the table where Baikoe was killed? That is a desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it, just in case. Power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Baikoe was killed, that means... that there's a way in behind the back of those boxes in the blackout he doesn't have to be under the table there's this hidden room there it's not clear to me yet but i guess you're right i didn't really understand it myself when i was drawing it i think it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor no it wasn't a waste at all huh it's not clear to me yet but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here an extremely important clue. Can we check it out? Make you're in the way. Okay. Um, if you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um, I tried within reason to form an autopsy on Bukuya's body, and I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Bukuya's chest and abdominal region. A deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object, very thin, sharp object, around five millimeters in diameter, was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. Eh, well, hey, you okay? I'm sorry. Talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I've always got the gist of what you wanted to say. I'm sorry. Five millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick and all. Oh, the missing, um, uh, the missing steak thing, uh, meat, meat thing. Maybe that was the weapon after all. I can add it to the bullets. I think we can probably finish this. Yay! Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face. That's why we couldn't get there. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Man, uh, well, let's just go there. Uh, let's check our pets. There you go. No despair for you, Chibini. Oh, until next group, 33. We'll just run around the island a couple of times. So let, let's talk about what I what we think is happening here, right? I think Terror Terror killed. I think there was a secret room between the storage room and uh, the storage room and the um, the other room. Um, we got twenty-two just for running around. 
There's a lighthouse over there as well. Uh, so he's killed you in that room. I think there's a, a hidden weapon somewhere. The knife is bait. I think it is entirely possible. Sneak me. Until next growth, 1998. Okay. We'll get ready for this class trial. Huh? What the heck is this mountain? Where did that go? Never mind that, how do they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? That story... That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Bayakoya said before, right? You are right. Bayakoya, we still needed his knowledge. Uh, I still can't believe he's dead. What happened to Gundam and Fihiko? Now that you mention it, it, it appears they aren't here yet. I know! They probably ran away! No way. Ah, hell no! There's no way I'd let them escape, you know? Look, I dragged this one back over here. I'm telling you, let me go! Hey now! Hey now! If you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Hey, Behiko, what were you doing all this time? Nothing, I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when suddenly that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? How can you, how can you say something so irresponsible? You You've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just to survive! May hear that's enough. You too, Fihiko. Dumbass. Um, and I guess we're waiting for Gundam. I am right here. No. Remember this- Oh, he's not even back. The main carriage arrives when he intends to. Huh? It seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well, Alright, now that everyone's all together, the secret entrance to the trial field. Please wait a second. My, my, Monami. Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I, I. Do you actually want to join in? Do you want to taste how powerless you are in the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Ah, oh, well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I should allow your special participation. I'll come on ahead and wait for you guys. So hurry over. He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. Mention something about the secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance. What did um your Samuel uh, Monami want to say? I I. I... Well, it's good as be his big fat ugly head, right? Oh, there's something shaking. This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. <laughs> That's so dumb. Something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura! Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazine is trembling with fear. That's so totally suspicious. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, forgive me, seriously, just, just forgive me already. Uh, hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. Well, there's no way, there's just no way we'll find a killer. Complain will get us anywhere if you're really a man, a man up for God's sake. See, I feel like she's a real misandrist. No choice but to keep moving forward. 
we need to do it. If that's everyone's decision, I'll follow you guys. Yep. This were a video game. No a very high difficulty rate. Let's do our best to clear the game. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was step upward. Intensity at the escalator that carried me. And each of us entered Monokuma Rock. Oh. This is an elevator? Oh, we've got everyone in here. This is going to be everyone's positions. We've got Sonya, we've got Miken at the back, Ibuki. Well, we've got the guys on one side pretty much and the girls on the other side. I love how Akane is just like, yeah, I'm coming down. This he, this entire rock is an elevator. And once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, if he's gone if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. And you're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. So I realized it was sound of my teeth. What I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. There we were, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished ascending. And then the elevator door slowly opened. Prediction time, I am betting. Uh, a free a free sub to somebody. I'm making a free sub. If if I get it wrong, but I'm betting that Teru Teru is the killer. I will bet a free sub on anyone who's watching. That I'm right about that. No, no, I think anyone's here at this point anyway, but... Oh, look at this cross trial. Uh, let's see. This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. What the hell is he thinking? Luck is in a shitty looking place like this. Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. Looks like everyone knows, even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked towards seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Bayakoya. He was from an affluent prodigy by Koya Tsugami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. The person who did it is one of us. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true, we need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. And there's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so the life-threatening trial, balloon with hope and despair, has begun. Yes, let's save. Save it there. Oh, did I not buy any skills? Oh, there's a lot of skills. Let's buy some skills. Well...
jumping power. Increases turning power, affects your logic drive. Do you want to just try and add as many points as we can? Or the most expensive one. Most stage increases at a slower rate during concentration and fever time. As effective during like a lot of things. Maybe we get that. Because we're time during concentration fever time. Yep. And we get another one at six. Easy shift move to your favor. Sure. Okay. Oh, I can only have 22 points to begin with. Okay. Fast trial. Begin. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who. <laughs> Look at this. Um, um, on me. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely. There's no doubt that the blackened is lurking among you. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is going to be 100% fair. So there's no need to worry. This class trial. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. You hate me that much? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fist. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. <sighs> I fucking love him. He's just straight to the point, like, yeah, everyone there, suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh? The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. I mean, it's not normally you know, normal to find a body anywhere, really. Let's start with that mystery. So given the time to, we can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. I did that. I think about if it's a waste of time, we have to do this no matter what. By the side, from this point on, I'll provide a simple tutorial at every important moment. I'm sorry, but please excuse my ear tainted, tainting rudeness. As things progress during the class trial, you will engage in a number of non stop debates. Okay. During these discussions, all your classmates will speak one after each other without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes. Contained within their statements. This means you have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Out of all the truth bullets you find during the investigations, only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Using the mouse to move the reticle, then fire the left mouse button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and choose your truth bullets to blast the right ones. And if you run out of time, it automatically fails. Please be careful. If you press the escape key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Right, we got this. Make your argument. Well, the first thing is the blood stain under the, f under the table. Why was Biakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. Yes. After the 
the killer murdered the Acquia, they probably moved the body there. No. No, that's wrong. Yeah, there you go. You know what we're doing. Space to slow time. Shoot to, with button. Genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. She's such a bitch. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Yakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? That's what he just said. So Yakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was. I think. So. Byakuya went to get the knife. It was self-defense kill. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? To get the knife. Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. <laughs> the hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? Yeah. You might going to dive under the table. It was probably... Um... I, I think it must be the knife. Mm. Oh, it could be loud. What was he doing at the party? Let's try this. Nope. We might dive in the table. Let's get to what Boko was doing during the party. Oh, I can press that. It's connected and it's probably what he was doing during the party. Then the knife with the night vision goggles. I can prove it with this. Oh there you go. Nabuki. Probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items. So I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Because it was glowing in the dark. Instead of knowing about it beforehand. Maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might. No, that's not possible. Uh, you seem rather calm. Because the lights were off. Of course. I... <laughs> this is almost like a real. I'm skipping through it because I'm like, I know what's going on. There was one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. There will be only one lie of contradiction in the debate at a time. There'll be false weak spots. If you shoot a false weak spot during you know, not only will you fail, you'll also lower your trust of everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. And your own logic, yep. Also if you concentrate by holding space, please shoot whenever you feel like statements are moving fast. 
If you press escape key during these arguments, you can view the controls. Okay, so we basically know why, but I couldn't see... Night Vision Goggles. I'm sure Blackie are just under the table. During the blackout. Yes, that's right. That sounds correct. It is. If that's the case... During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hams... Must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. The Akuya couldn't see in the dark either. No, because he had night vision goggles. Boom. No, the Akuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? If he was using those night vision goggles he found under the table, he could have seen what was happening. So... Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Oh. No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Ah, oh, it, journalist. Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Yakuya. Were you surprised by him here as an argument? No, not really. I'm used to it from her. She seems like that kind of person. I was also surprised. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument faces, you'll go into one-on-one -on -one debate called a rebuttal showdown. At the moment, you have to counter the other person's claim, draw out their weak spots, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks to WST keys. Okay. Should their remarks important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally? Based on that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. If you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew towards their advantage. But on the right corner, you'll scream, Shows the sharpness of your counter. There's a number of times you can cut remarks during one round of debate. You lose counter sharpness even if you miss, so please be very careful. If you excuse to your advantage for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. The conversation will develop. Don't end up divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally cut remarks to contain weak spots. It was skewed and moved towards the other party's advantage, plus it's going to be very big. So I can break a debate, please refute any weak spots with the left mouse button. Truth blaze, you will not be able to cut an opponent's mark. What's the truth blaze? It appears that there's been a delay in contacting you. I'll make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. And that's about it. There won't be any other changes. I mean, the name was changed, but don't you think a change in feeling is important? If you press the escape key, okay, this has confused me. But it's kind of like you just cut with W, A, S, and D, and you shoot. Okay. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision. That's gotta be it. I can't back down. What am I supposed to be doing? Now? If you just use common, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Okay. If they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Yakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Night vision goggles, then they could have killed Yakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm very confused. Ah, but I'm... I'm very confused what I'm doing here. Oh fuck! God damn it! There we go. There we go. I'm figuring out. No, 
Sakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumen case Byakuya had with him during the party, he found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles <laughs> Look at that. were kept inside that Duralumen case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Bless her heart. Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I, I love his voice, actually. It's just so... Yeah, what are you talking about, you dumb woman? You know, we know what's going on. I mean, in this case, journalist is dumb woman. Let's see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case, too? No. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there, too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? <laughs> At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about... Tonight's main dish. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. Knife is brought into the dining case. No, that's not possible. Knife is hidden in the dining hall. Yep. The duct tape. I see. There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Yep. Duct tape. They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Find duct tape there. Just in the back. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. Why didn't he bring also like the pepper spray or the taser? to the dangerous items he confiscated as well yeah I, I feel like i've got this all wrapped up there's only certain things i don't know oh i want to say that's yohani yohani please correct me if i'm wrong but hello welcome to the stream welcome welcome we're on the uh class trials the, the the basically the courtroom kind of bit of this first case uh, I don't know if you, you're familiar with the game at all, so if you need any points at any point, let you know, just ask. Yeah, we're just going to carry on through. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. You probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Yeah, but we know this thing, so. Yeah, you've got... Uh, okay. He predicted the nope. murder? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? I swear to God, Gundam. I swear to God. If you... I love him, but I hate him as well. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Can you just take this seriously for once? You think so too, right, Hajime? Uh, any idea who the culprit might be? I think the culprit... I, I would say I am 80% sure... It is uh, Teru Teru, Chef, Chef Boyandi, what's his name? Um, I am, I would say, eight, no, actually no. Let's say I'm 90% sure it's Teru Teru. I'm about like 8% thinking it could be Nagito. And that leaves about 2% up to chance. I, I don't know who it is. Because um, we know the knife is on the underside of the table. The only two people, other than Bayakoya himself, that had access to the uh, place were Teru Teru and Nagito. Nagito had a lot of time to move, so did the chef, so it could have been either of them. Um, but different things, like people being sick after eating the food, makes me think it's Teru Teru. Um... The fact that the murder weapon wasn't the knife, but was in fact the long item, reminds me of the missing uh, skewer. I made a... Hold on, let me bring this up. I made a, a theory, like, last week when we started... When, when we found the person dead, uh, by a kid dead. And one of the things I predicted was that he would have died to the meat skewer that was missing. And that the meat skewer would be hidden under the floorboards. 
Now, I'm not sure if the under the floorboards bit is right anymore. But the meat skewer bit sounds right. And who would have had the best access to that? Teru Teru. So, I, I have some... Some, you know... A, a suspicion, let's say. But I'm not sure 100%. Uh, Bikuni probably knew. Oh, what, what was that? Bikuni knew that there was a pro. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was the murder threats. That would have been why. I can prove it with this. <laughs> oh. Be careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone definitely killed someone. Oh, and I also have the idea. Because Baku was in the first game. Why did he enter the second game? What reason is there for him to lose with his memory and join this game? I think that Yusami is kind of like a counter Monokuma made by the survive, uh, survivors of the first game. Or at least um, a, a hope resistance people. And Bayakoya went in as kind of like a spy to be like, Hey, I've survived one of these. I will survive the other and I will help get them to all to live. Which is why he got this note. It's not a threatening note. It's someone will kill tonight. Be careful. And he used that interest, uh, insider knowledge to set it up. But what I don't understand. Is how they knew somebody would kill. Unless they heard somebody plotting it. Um, because I, I would have thought that if. Teru Teru killed, it would have been because of money. Because he said about how his family is in an awful um, place, really. A very small... I, I'm overthinking a lot of this. I guess it's going to come in time. How's the volume, by the way? Now that everyone's speaking. If it needs to be turned up, let me know. Yeah, it was Yusami. Turn it up a little bit. Okie dokie. I I've messed around with the volume recently, and that's that's been an issue. Hey, there we go. Are you sure? Yeah, I think Mono, uh, Monomi Yus Yusami, whatever her name is, she wrote the letter. What does that mean, Monokuma? What does? Yeah, yeah. You tell him. You tell him, Monomi. Doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter. He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. Yeah. Doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. Yeah, but no, I don't. I don't think that's right. I think they, they've tried to set it up that it's a threatening letter, and I just don't think that's right. I think I think this has got to be a like a, a friendly kind of warning. And Teru Teru is trying to throw off the, the suspicion here. Told us he received a threatening letter. No, because then everyone would just get paranoid. If he had, we would have panicked. Yeah. Byakuya probably knew that too. Or, or that letter wasn't meant to go for everyone else because that letter was supposed to be his little secret because he's the traitor, in quote unquote. So he tried to do something about it without telling anyone. I see. Strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. <laughs> Screw that noise! 
Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. I don't believe that. Hey, you thank you very much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. That's greatly appreciated. In fact, you are my 100th follower. Thank you very much. I am I'm so happy about that. <laughs> and stream and stream alerts. Thank you for celebrating with the uh, beans. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, but that's, that's amazing. I'm so happy we reached that point. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really enjoying this, by the way. I really am. I'm planning to play this every weekend. Who is it? Who's the one who killed me, Akoya? Enough already! Show okay. yourself, you coward! <laughs> How did he get his earring? I think that's something we need to discuss. If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. As much as I don't like her, she does make a good point. <laughs> uh, so in this room killed be a queer. There's no way I can believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? You like Sanji? Is that her name, traditional dancer? She annoys me so much. Mostly because I feel like she's just really mean to everyone for no reason. Maybe she'll grow on me. Maybe there's a reason why she's mean to everyone. But the minute it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna just insult everyone. I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? Oh, Shaki's best. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me uh just quickly. Uh, what is it? Is it that button or is it that button to change to? Uh, my... Nope. That button? Yeah, there we go. You can answer my screen. Uh, my did a tier list last episode. Uh, last, last stream. Shaki is definitely my number one at the minute. Uh, so far people are changing it. Miken is really proving her place. I'm not sure about uh, Photographer. And I think everyone else has remained the same. I I'm tempted to move up to A, but the way that she acts sometimes... Yeah. Uh, uh, if Pyoko was indeed wearing those goggles, how did Killer manage to... Oh, the, the, the paint. Wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night. See, look at this. Look how Terror Terror is just jumping on after this. He's like, yeah, 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 you're you're right, yeah. How 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 would he know how to This is why I don't trust Terror Terror. Other than he's a pervert. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? The, the paint, we know this. Like... Even if the knife bore some sort of mark. It would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. The, the paint. Definitely use the mark. Yep, yep, the, the paint, the glowing paint. I, see. I didn't even look what the best options were. The glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table. And the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint. And who would know where the paint was? We haven't found the paint, but if it was in the building, the only people who had access were Terra Terra and uh, Lucky Boy. Does that mean the killer painted them in the dance? Oh, and I love, I love Mikan. Mikan, Mikan. I love her. She's great. The painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Because they... <sighs> they had to have already known. That's why they use the glowing paint as a mark. This is why she's best girl. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. Hey, you know what? You know what? She's she's putting her weight here. I might change my mind on her. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. No, so the, am I gonna have to bump you down my list with bad accusations? It was you, Peko Peko Yama. No, no. Peko killed poor Bianca. 
island not big enough for two glasses wearers. <laughs> How is that your conclusion? Oh, I guess she's not. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? That that's it. Thank you, Mikan. I don't care about a technicality like that. Pecco's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the No, no, no. The irons were left on. The AC was both turned on to go on at a specific time to trip the breaker at a specific time. So the killer would know when to go in there. When of course blackout. Is that really what happened? No. At this like, blue colored weak spots will start. Oh, what's this? If you call these weak spots you've seen up to now argue spots, you could weak spots were called a grease spot. Oh. Uh, okay. I actually have to agree with people? I don't like this. When shooting a grease spot to truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Yeah, that's why I'm not going to like this. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, please fire the truth bullets that prove the other person's testimony is correct. When your truth bullets merge with their weakness, it will become a logically sound agreement. Isn't there a little hot in there? You must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. Press the escape key. How am I going to change or am I just going to fire the same truth button? Okay, I'm going to have to think. Uh, Nekamaru's account, Tertera's account, Chiaki's account. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. No. I don't give it up. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? I guess. Uh... Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. Oh, we gotta use Terra Terra's ex te thing. She was in the bathroom. Okay, now I understand what we're doing. No. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, I've used the wrong person. God damn it. Oh, I can speed up. There we go. Okay. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. Uh, you know what? Sure. I like that at all. Pekomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. I've been trying to use it as many times, but the door just won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. <sighs> Then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? Other than... Terry Terry. I see. <laughs> so there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekko. I... I guess that would be... true. <laughs> Plastic, hello! Welcome to the chat! Hello, hello! You was doomed the rest of the party to the pow shits of Nekumaru. Yes. Apparently, this is going to be his character arc for the rest of the game. Did he just have constant shits? Oh. <laughs> oh, hold on then. Let's, let's carry on. You locked yourself in the commode? <laughs> you Welcome, Plastic. Uh. There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. Maybe I feel like you're just as insensitive, like a lot of the time. She locked herself in the bathroom for that long. 
There's no doubt. <laughs> Game speed and shit, Kaki. <laughs> Game tech, hello, welcome. There's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Since you, since you of all people. Hey, weren't oh. you guys taught any basic manners? Give me a quick second. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. I had to bring my dog upstairs. Ah, oh. you came right to start the stream. I had things to do and came back. You still going? Yeah. I see the pork chop tasting. The what? Extreme pork chop? Ah. Oh. Had to go and bring my dog up because she is ready for bed. Bless her heart. <laughs> oh, he gets you right. He is a big, big porky boy. I don't know, I think we're, we're getting to the bottom of this. Game Tech is it's nice, uh, Gamma Tech, it's nice to know you were a bit here at the beginning. Oh, we're making our way through this. Uh, you, when you guys uh, take any basic manners, or you were raised in the locker room? Hey, don't judge. I'm sorry. To be fair, I, I do completely believe that he was raised in the locker room. Bless her heart. <laughs> she really doesn't want to be part of this conversation. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning yes. or something? Yes. Yes. Oh. I might have to change my mind about her. She may be a, a, a evil bitch sometimes. But she is... She's... Yeah, the, the gears are turning. Huh. Might have to change my opinion of her. As soon as I stepped into the office... I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom. Including on the blackout. Banana hair gives you incredible, incredible powers for deduction. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Throw him out! I don't want him! Get him out of here! Thank you. Can we just accuse him of the killer and get him get out? You know. Still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? And I like him too. He's putting the pieces together as well. Even though he wasn't even there. Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. Shut up, he's on to something. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. There we go. I hope he survives the entire thing, because he is so far one of my favorite characters. Stop this childish nonsense! Just what do you mean by coincidence? Him, on the other hand, I'd love to hate. What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Oh, I. It's one thing that's always polarized. Mick and Fangs and Hyoko fans. I, I love. I'm a big fan of. Uh, Making so far. Ibuki fans. I'm just trying to learn people's names, to be honest. If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office. Ibuki. Oh, Ibuki. Yeah, Ibuki is weird. I don't know how I feel about Ibuki yet. Lacey, Lacey, come here. Lacey, go to bed. Come here. Where you going? Let me go. Good girl, come here. I know. Ibuki's pretty fun. Oh, she's definitely fun. I just don't know how I feel about her at the minute. 
she's sometimes really, you know, on the ball, and then sometimes she's just like, wait, what? <laughs> Uh, if so, the Coco tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office. I see. That might have happened. I came to someone else I don't know what to feel about. Was it coincidence? Sure. We know that... Oh! Her and a cane were the only two people to eat the food. A cane hasn't... Uh... Oh! Party dishes. There you go. Who's my prime suspect? My prime suspect so far is Teru Teru, the chef. Weird. I don't remember eating anything weird. Um. Now that you mention it, you um, got to the office, right? Yes. Just a little bit from the dining hall. Yes. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Boom. No, that's wrong. Damn it. <laughs> That were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Okay, you think it's because of poor Ryukyu's diet? Possibly. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Ryukyu did eat the food as well. And that's a specific food. Uh, but no, my, my reasoning why it's Teru Teru is that I'm 90% sure it's Teru Teru, I'm 8% sure it's Lucky Boy, I can't remember his name, and I'm 2% it could be anyone else. The only two people who could have put that knife there were Teru Teru, Teru, Teru and Lucky Boy. Lucky Boy, I don't think, did this, even though he's closest to the knife. I think there's a hidden room between the, or a, a, a hidden passageway between the storage room and the main main room. Uh, Lucky Boy is Nagito. Yeah, that's his name. Um, I think there's a hidden room. And Teru Teru, who was in the kitchen, came out into there, killed uh, the Akoya when he went to go and get the knife, with the meat skewer that was hidden, killed him, uh, left his body under there, and then was like, oh no, is it? I just came in from the kitchen. And I think a big part of that is we're going to say, actually, what about the fire doors? And the fire doors is probably how we're going to get him. Or expose that hidden door. That's what I'm thinking. Akane, that's how you say it. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Yeah, but then again, you've got a uh, gymnast body. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. Oh, hold on. Don't... He shouldn't have to apologize for making the accusation. Every, you know, every possibility should be investigated. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Yeah. yeah you, you tell her. Maybe not so aggressive, but you, you tell her. Is this bickering? Okay, never mind. Sonia says her voice. Let's just dismiss Peko's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. See, moments like these, you're annoying. Like, can you not just be nice to somebody once? Trashy skank? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. My hero is be talking shit about everyone, but as soon as Hiyoko starts bullying people, she goes silent, like right now. Honestly, what I've noticed about uh, Mahiru is that I think she might be, uh, I think the word is a misandrist, or at least she might have some bad experience with men or something, because every time I spoke to her, it's been about men versus women, right? You need to man up. Uh, men should be protecting women. Um, the, the, she had the girls only uh, cooking thing. Uh, when she was nervous and we, we looked after her during the crime, and then when she pulled herself together, she then attacked us and accused us of being stuff. Uh, I, I just think that Mihiro just has this, this bad attitude towards men in general. And not in like a, a, a evil way. I don't think it's it's 
you know, her just trying to be malicious. But it just it just comes across like that. Even Pekka told Hyoko to show up. I've I don't know if I've seen that. That might be to come. Uh, so we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. The irons and the AC. Ah, oh, there's so many bullets here. Irons? Irons is a good one. Irons. Probably missed it. I, po I possibly did. <laughs> okay. No, we're not going to agree with that. Maybe they used a remote control? No, we're not going to agree with that. They probably messed with the breaker. Don't really think that's right either. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. That's not really true either. Power that's right. There we go. Hey, moments like this, she pulls her weight. My hero. My, my hero? My hero. Of course that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Yes. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. Yes. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yes. Yeah. It seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Honestly. Makoto was a bit of a dum dum. I'm actually really liking Hajime. Makoto, Makoto missed a lot of things, and it was just like a bit. Come on, cogs turning here. We know what's going. Hajime's putting his weight. Stupid fool. Oh, okay, never mind. I have to listen to that. Hajime is more ballsy. I yeah, I really like that. Big dum dum. Oh, hold on. Let me figure this out. How is that? What are you saying? Oh, how do I do this again? Uh, AC timer might be one. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the store, and that means everyone who was in the dip when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Yes. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. Yes. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause it. If the irons caused the blackout. Boom. Okay, we figured we, we messed up the first time we had to do one like these. The irons are just one reason okay. Hey, Plastic, thank you very much for the follow. We've got so many followers today. I, I, they, this is mad. <laughs> I'm going to have to play Danganronpa more often. Plastic, thank you very much for the follow. I, I've got to say, for the people that are here, we today went from, I think, 96 followers, and we're now on 101. So we've passed the 100 mark, and I am so happy for that. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, they are both big dum-dums. But they do seem to care for their friends, yeah. And ne Nagito seems to care more though, and I'm like, eh, I don't trust Nagito for the life of me. Uh, what were we saying now? We were just saying that the AC was the trigger. The direct trigger. Yeah. When the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners. <laughs> the timers for both air conditioners were set to 11:30 p.m. Yep. 11:30 p.m. Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time too. I, I don't know. I don't like how smart she is sometimes. Actually. I see. When the timers activated the. I think she could be a killer. The breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. Y yes. I see. I understand. Indubitably. Okay. Okay, Nakamaru. Indubitably. Even she's shocked to use that word. Probably check the old building's energy usage in advance and use the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to <laughs> wait until they started up on their own. Was it a coincidence or did somebody sabotage your AC plastic? Maybe someone's out to kill you, plastic. Just just 
Watch your back when you go to sleep tonight. <laughs> Which, I promise that wasn't a threat. Please don't shut me down. <laughs> if so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout. Indubitably. <laughs> she just coughing? Miss Sonia, be too. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay. Is she right? Such a hateful bear. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? That's interesting. You might stay dead after a thousand deaths. So there are only one thousand. I said only one thousand monokumas. You guys will catch each you without sim. No, you cannot. Shut up! You guys just stay quiet. That's the only thing that makes. I don't know. There were. I wanted like Kazuichu. I really do. But he a is a simp. And actually, wait. Since the band word of Twitch, don't shut me down. Uh, and B. He just has a lot of dumb moments so far. Big dumb sometimes. I'm hoping he he pulls through. Prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, still regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. Maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. You couldn't have reached Pekko. No. The breaker in the office there you go. built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. I love how he's just waving, and then you've got Ibuki who's like. I can see from here. But he's just a neighbor. Yeah, he's he's a, he seems like a really nice guy. He's just a bit obsessed. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Hey, what a nice guy. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. If territory responds to this, all right. okay. You don't have to worry because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. That's cringe. What are you saying? Like you guys, not like me. Like you guys. There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. Why are you talking like that? Hope. I... I'm concerned now that it might be Nagito. Even though I think it's Teru Teru. I, I knew there was something about him that I didn't trust. I think he might be... You know how there's like... Oh, who was... <laughs> Who was it that said to me, it was either last week, that there's always somebody in every game who's kind of like, we're going to mess around and purposely try to fuck things up? I think it's Nagito. He seems for everyone in the suit. Yeah. I, I just think he's a bit... I don't trust him for the life of me. I think he's going to be the person who's going to be the one to mess around with things and try to fuck things up for everyone. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. But do you do you believe him when he says that? I don't. Look at his face. N Nagito? What happened to you? Yeah. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? I, I don't trust him. I from the very beginning, we've played, what, almost 12 hours of this game so far. I do not trust- I have not trusted him for a second. Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Vyakuya set foot in the old building. No, because no, no one was allowed in. What a shame. 
Any one of us is capable of that. See, th this is the thing. He's trying to throw things off. This is why I think he's the, the one who fucks things about. Oh, Nagito, I swear. And the whole, none of us could be a killer, right? None of us could be a killer. That, that's his way of going, oh yeah, uh, let's accuse Monokuma of doing it. But now that we're thinking stuff out, he's like, oh, fuck, uh, he, no. What are you implying? Yeah. He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Her eyes are scary. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Ah. Uh. Fortunately, this is the truth. No, it's not the truth. Because the person who had to set up the irons, the person who had to set up the knife, there were only two people that actually could enter the building. Right? Unless... I, I'm pretty sure I tried to enter there and... Nagito stopped us. Every time we tried to enter, Nagito stopped us. So, it is unlikely that anyone else got in there. If they did, Nagito would know. And as he hasn't brought anyone up, he's either covering for someone, or no one came in and it's just him and Teru Teru. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the kill. I think he's talking about hope. And I think that is a a kind of uh, reversal, right? If he keeps on talking about hope so, so much, and you keep getting your hopes up, and he can pull the rug out from underneath you, that is the biggest way to cause despair. I don't trust him for the life of me. That might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. Oh, what would you say now? Oh! You're changing your story again? See? Anyway. I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? What the hell? What? 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 I know you said that before. See, okay, again, this is my thing of, he's going to make it look like he's the killer. Because if they all die by not believing in him, it proves him right, in a way, saying, you didn't believe in me, and that's why we died. I hope Junkie's slipping away. I am, ah, oh, I am so rattled. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> You guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Hidden psychopath. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. The way you sp ah, ah, you, uh, you don't know. Oh. I, I don't want to do this either. Because you're the killer. Me too! Please! Take me home already! Because you're worse! Get out of- I love you, Mikan. I wanna go home and eat candy! I don't believe his ultimate lucky student stick, considering that was Makoto's thing. Do you reckon he's the ultimate manipulator of some kind? The ultimate liar? Or the ultimate- um uh psych psychoanalyst or something or psychopath stop it if everyone acts like this i i'm gonna see hey this is where i'm gonna be in there and be like the f what are you talking about there can be multiple lucky ones and god damn it calm down. there's my fairy gone we're all friends aren't we there's no way one friend would murder another. They do it every year. But it's cause when Byakuya die. Okay, there you go. Who cares? Let's just give up already. 
Is he the ultimate hopeless nurse or something? There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Can I just throw him out for being a, a dick? <laughs> oh, Chucky. Love you, best girl. I think. Never mind. <laughs> you might be the best girl. <laughs> Did you say something? Oh, look at that. Oh, Shaki. You know who the killer is? Yes, it's Terror Terror. Killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. Just say it's Terror Terror. Then care to tell me what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. Yeah, but how'd they get in the room? Or how did I got the knife in the room? <laughs> Is she asking how the killer got close to the table? Yes. Given that to... And there's a hidden room, but a storage. I'm... That is... I'm betting money on... I'm not betting money on that. I'm not a bet... Uh, good do. A better sub. You think I had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that. Then you get close to that table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. Yeah. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Come on, Oto girl. Hidden room, right? Because why would you have the plug there and the storage room there? It doesn't make sense. It feels like there's a hidden room behind the boxes. The diagram is a clue. Or Nagita was the closest to it. They were able to follow the lead. Oh, they were able to follow the lead. No, that makes more sense. They were able to follow the lead to the table. They, they followed the lead. The, the lead. Spot selection. What's this? Oh, oh, I'm genius. You don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Gun Gundam, let me speak. No way to use desk lamp. The power cord. I can prove it with this. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Ah, uh, the lamp also works. Yeah. Yeah, this this is this makes sense. Built their way to that table using the power cord, right? Okay. By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. Yes. And there's only one person here who could have done that. It's been Nagato. Unless oh, I still think Terato is a killer though. Ooh. You could have possibly done it. Uh, I want to say Terry Terry, but this is just the point. Nagato. You're the only one. Nagato, it was you, wasn't it? Me. I don't think this is right. Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. I mean, it makes sense to some degree, but there's still a lot of stuff that wasn't that we haven't talked about. Uh, like the the fire doors. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was. Oh, but this is what he wants. This is what he wants. He wants us to believe it's him. He could have known that knife was there to begin with. I don't. It's just, uh. When he was cleaning up. I see. Oh. Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, 
Oh, Lacey, where are you going? You're going downstairs. Okay, you can do that now. I thought it was just like a picture of his like legs and it wasn't going to move. If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning it, you're the only one who could have done it. No, 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 Hajime, Hajime, think about this a little bit more. Seriously? That's all just a coincidence. If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder, is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Oh, but he is the ultimate lucky student. Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Oh, this... Oh, I love the uh, original soundtrack, but hello! Uh, 2851, do you want me to call you Ikust or 2851? Whatever is good for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. This... Oh, I love the soundtrack for this game, though. I'm always popping. Suki? Is that a tear? Am I dumb? Oh, it's backwards! Oh, I'm smart. I'm smart. He wasn't so unlucky. No. I don't think, I don't think it's him, though. I think he's just doing this to try and muck about, because Terra Terra's story hasn't come up yet. I, I think it's Terra Terra. I thought it was... I wasn't... Okay. I was 90% sure it was Terra Terra. I was 8% sure... It was Nagato and 2% the chance. But now that this has happened, the power cords, the, the positioning, and the fact that he's cleaning, that 8% is looking very likely. But I still think it's Terror Terror. I think, we, we were discussing this before you joined Suki, that. There's apparently someone in each game who tries to muck about and uh, disrupt crime scenes and stuff like that. I think it's equally as likely that he positioned himself to clean by accident. He didn't mean to do that. So that he could be in that room, find the knife that was there, or find that it was put there. And then because he thinks that he's a masochist of some kind and he should get everyone thrown out, like some kind of sadist. He wants to put himself there, so everyone suspects him, because he wants... He keeps saying how we should believe everyone. Everyone should believe in each other. And if they don't believe in him, that proves him right, in a way, doesn't it? That's what I think. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing, because I assumed something nice would happen. Go to the trouble of preparing this, just what do you think would happen? Whoever draws the chops, uh, chopstick with the red mark in it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Ultimate look. Yeah, I think he's in the right place at the right time to do nefarious things. Luck isn't a moral factor. It's not, oh, I'm lucky, so I'm going to do good things. That would look. You can do be lucky to do nefarious things, and I think that's what he's doing. Makoto was the ultimate look, and he was a very wholesome person. Nagito! Makoto Dark Mode, yes! I think he is ultimate look to do evil, is what I'm thinking. That luck is subjective. Of course it is, yeah. Does that sound fair? I think it's not necessarily what's lucky that he's... Yeah, I think that's I think that's true. Lucky in in Makoto case kind of seems just like good fortune. Actually, no, not actually good fortune. I think it's just he gets saved at the right times, kind of thing. Whereas Nagito, it just seems like things fall into place for him just to do things. He was lucky enough to get picked to come here. He was lucky enough to get the odd straw to put him in the right position at the right time to see the weapon to know where it would be likely to pick him so that he can take the blame to try and get everyone killed for his sadistic reasons that I don't understand. I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? Jackie, I love you because you're just saying, 
I don't know if you're the killer. Bees. Yes, be skeptical. That's bad acting, Nagito. Stop pretending to be evil. That strange speech you made earlier. That was part of your plan. No, 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 no. That was part of his plan for the other reason. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Oh, I love him. I love Fihiko. Well, just admit it already. Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. No, he wasn't. It would not be this easy. Oh, okay. Meta time as well. This is the first investigation. The whole... Oh, not one to believe anything. True, yeah. I, I think that in the first investigation, they are going to curveball us so hard. Because that's what they did in the first one. To be like, oh, well, you think that uh, Seiko was just killed? No, she actually tried killing someone else. In this, oh, you think this person's the killer? Ha ha! And he's not even—he's not even defending himself. See, look, say something. You're not saying anything. I've—I've I've watched enough people play Among Us. Oh, he's gonna start laughing. Knew it! Knew he's a psychopath! <gasps> oh, I knew it was a psychopath. Oh, oh yeah. Psycho from the I literally from the very beginning of that game, as soon as she was like, Oh, I'm gonna be friends with you, you know, I'm gonna stick with you, you protect me. I was like, she's evil. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't trust her, and as soon as she died, I was like Right. Meet Nagito Kamada. Yeah. The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Huh? Those eyes. They're like Coraline's eyes. You remember that film Coraline? Uh, this is the one you have to endure. Oh. No, it says I shone brightly as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. See, oh, oh, I want to, if what I've said is all right, I want praise. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. No, that's not right. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. And that's not true. No. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. <laughs> Makoto came naked to the Tokyo Court. <laughs> Good theory. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. His Japanese voice is done by a woman, but you'd never figure it out. No. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone. Megami, uh, that voice actor sounds familiar, actually. Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? Thanks, you, Ibuki. I, I never expected Yaku to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table, and we all saw how that. I know this is wrong. I just can't figure out what evidence I have. Uh. Oh, I can't figure out what evidence I have to prove him wrong. I know he's wrong. And I can't figure out what. I know we have the fire doors. I know we have terror terror testimony. We, the murder weapon. The murder weapon wasn't the knife. That's how we prove it. But with the twist ending like this... 
we can all agree this ended up being a very that, interesting if we can because he's now admitted to using a knife which means if we can prove the knife isn't the murder weapon he never said he killed him directly true yeah yeah you're right you're right Yakuya performed admirably just stop it already seriously what the hell happened to you don't tell me is this your true nature were you lying to us this entire time no that's to make him a liar to be fair i like that about cat like like when they make characters and they're like oh yeah he didn't actually lie you just fall for the the you know Come, can we need you? I mean, I'm not gonna deny that. And I'm not gonna deny that either. Wait, but don't say it, just like that's quite the hobby you have there but like now's not really the time to bring it up <laughs> okay you see you see the real nagito. Hey, nagito if you were behind all of this then did you also send that threatening letter ibuki and nagito hey i i, I don't mind i don't know how i feel about ibuki at the minute i feel like she's very uh suspicious at times not suspicious i mean very very uh i'd say over overacting in a sense like very very uh over exaggerated i don't know how i how to interpret that there's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at right but why would you send a threatening letter in the first place Honest personality, I agree with that. I agree. I think somewhere deep in my heart, I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. To be fair, I, I made a uh quickly a character tier list. Um and Ibuki is She's walking caffeine. She definitely is. She's on my B, B tier at the minute. I probably will change this after this weekend. Because Nagito is kind of moving down for me. I, now that my suspicions are confirmed, I'm moving him down. Teru Teru is a pervert. Don't endorse. Him, I just don't know how to deal with Gundam. I, I, I love him and I hate him at the same time and I don't know where to put him. Because it's literally just, ha! You mysterious shadow realm, uh, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't take him seriously for a second, which means I don't know how to react to him, and I don't know what I'm doing with him. Subject to change, definitely. I think characters are definitely going to change. Jackie's definitely at the top for me. As you may, he's moving to the top because, my God, he has impressed me today. Really impressed me. I think. Everyone, meh, my gun's okay. I, I'm like a bear. Uh, might move some of these down. But so far, subject to change, they're okay at the minute. Uh, I think somewhere deep in my heart is probably hoping that's a lie. That is a lie. Hey, Suki, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. It's completely appreciated. Honestly, I might just stream Danganronpa. The amount of follows I've got today is astounding. I got, I think, seven follows in one day, is that? No, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. That's mad. That's insane. I'm going to have to stream more often. 
<laughs> oh. But thank you, thank you. It's greatly appreciated. We stream this every weekend, hopefully, going forwards. So it's tomorrow as well, uh, 8 till 12 UK time. Uh, Mune bot on Discord plays Sheki higher in waifu ranks than Kyoko and any other girls. I would place I would place Sheki higher than Kyoko at the minute. I definitely would. Kyoko, uh, to be fair though, I, I personally love Celeste in the last game. Uh, and who was the other one? Hina, Hina was just bubbly and she was great. And then Kyoko would probably be third. Yeah, tomorrow as well, same time, 8 to 12. Oh, I, yeah, I kind of agree with that tier list, to be fair. Togemi is definitely up there. He grew on me. He massively grew on me. After the little stunt he pulled in uh, chapter in case 2, he massively grew on me after that. You despise Hina. Oh, I thought other than her being ditzy. Because she was at times. But he's not as bad as Hero. Hero was... Hero is definitely ditzy. Big, biggest himbo there. Um, he manipulated the building. In doing so, Magito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? You like the wee man? Oh no! Don't don't get me wrong. I didn't dislike him, but he was just very much a himbo of. At most of the trials were just, no, just shut up, just shut up. Hakakure, I should see head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I just knew, knew him as hero. That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. <laughs> Only a storage room packed with lots of stuff. It's hard to see in there, full of cobwebs. And I was busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was so bad it was charming. Why would you be mad that a character lived? Oh no, I don't. I've got no clue how he got there either. I, I have no clue. Uh. What, but no, why would you be mad if your favourite character doesn't live? I mean, the whole point is, you know, even if they, they die, they die for a, a story reason, right? Like, I'm trying to think in the first game. The only character that I can... No, no, I think every single character in that died. Hifumi, who was trying to Hifumi again? Uh, uh, all these names are confusing me, especially with the ones you got at the minute. Especially since six months since this. Um, let me just quickly Google Hifumi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamster. Uh, I, I, I felt satisfied with the survivors, to be fair. Other than actually, no, I thought. Uh, Byakuya and, uh, Toko, I think her name was? Gundam's last hamster, indeed. Um. Ethan, hello, welcome to the stream. Don't worry, I bet you were watching the England game as well, weren't you? 4-0, we did good. Uh. In that case, why don't you guard Kate in the office? Yeah, 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 Genocide Jack. I, I thought that her and... I thought that Boyakia would kill uh, Toko at the very end of the last game. And I was very confused that they survived. I was expecting like there to be another round of deciding who survived. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? 
I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? That's just his look. If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can totally see that he was trying to, uh, he was taking a liking to her. But at the same time, I was expecting that just to be a get close and then murder. Every time Pickle's name is said, play Pickle's dumbass laugh in your head. <laughs> hey, you could do, you could do. Even I'm not pressing Alt F4. A negative talent, uh, it was... Ultimate lucky student. Ultimate baby face. <laughs> Ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. I've been to Blackpool. I have been to Blackpool. You just relied on your luck. I. They've got the Blackpool ta um dungeons there, and that's the only dungeons I've actually been to, like at the amusement park things. Scared the absolute. Bejeebus out of me, and I'm a fairly, you know, normal person. Like, I, I, I kind of react okay to fear. It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh? I'm left with the red mark. There's someone called the ultimate lucky student. You don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. Oh, you went to the dungeons. Uh, I do recommend it. It's a, it's a massive, uh, a, like, exhilarating thrill ride kind of thing. Um, yeah, with, with all the harvest stuff. But then again, I did go when I was a lot younger. So, I don't know. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I won. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. Importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! He didn't! Hashimate, get out! He was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? To <laughs> fucking Monami in the corner, just shaking. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That's not true. That's not true, because you weren't stabbed. Yeah. Tipsy Ride. Oh, do you know? I thought you would have watched the match. Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Hey, I'll, I love your enthusiasm there, Fico. I love your enthusiasm. Just, just, let's take a second to actually go. Maybe he's lying because he's a bit of a dick. Please, Monokuma! No, Ibuki. I lo again, love your enthusiasm. Just, just turn it down a bit. Oh, Mikan, I love her. Oh, I love her. Please. Huh? The fuck? Plus foot, yeah, the England one. Um, 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 oh. How should I put this? Mikan. Oh my god, I look, bless your socks. I'll take a good couple of seconds just to applaud the real hero of this game. Um, what are you saying? Even see, and he's concerned because he's the actual killer. Oh my god, I'm glad I stuck my guns in black. Terror, terror in this. Uh, yeah, even get some sleep before you get hangover, mate. Enjoy Blackpool Tower tomorrow, and always join the Discord if you uh if you need someone to talk to. I'm always there. Uh, Tell me how it goes. And that's the point, we do have the Discord. If people want to come in, we do have a dedicated room for talking about Dang and Romper. Uh, I don't want any spoilers in there. Um, but feel free to join. Uh, and maybe you can listen to my, my ramblings when you get to a new mystery. No, no. Hyoko, 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 just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Um, for now, might I 
suggest we listen to what she has to say? Bless you, Sonya. But we know who the killer is. Teru, 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 stop. Stop it, Teru. Simply listening is acceptable. Gundam, I'll take you off D, D tier for that. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Gundam, I'm, I'm keeping you in dirty in D tier, mate. <laughs> Like white lines of white noise will appear to just oh okay, will disappear if they touch these lines to think becomes obstacles. This time you're true, but it's just right. So they won't be okay. By the way, difficult is it's gentle. Okay, it's not. Uh, oh, please don't worry. I'm not going to fall into despair. In mate, you won't be able to shoot down the white noise. That will be explained later. If you press start button during use arguments, you can start button. Do you mean escape? I think the game's a bit confused. Good luck and have fun. Uh, Mikan's autopsy. There we go. This is what we need. Oh, the music in this box. I, I think it's strange that the killer is so obviously Nagito. Oh, that's the white noise. Uh -oh. He has already confessed. Ignore this. You know, oh, bless her. She's trying to get the words out. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Biakio with a knife he hit. Boom. By the pow. It's okay, Mikan. I know you're struggling with your words. Just let me take over. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say. Right, Mikan? Oh, Mikan. Mikan? There we go. I've learned. What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. No, it wasn't. It was a skewer knife. Uh, it's a meat skewer because he knew what, there was one missing. But Yaki knew it was on the equipment list. Oh. Thank you, Ibuki. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll throw your fucking ass to a whorehouse. <laughs> Again, love the infusions on Pico. Might be a ah, uh, might be a little bit. Yeah, calm. Oh, oh yeah, I I agree with that. People need to stand up for for Mikan. I still have no real defense in this entire game at any point. I will, I'll be, I'll be upset. See, hey, so now obviously it's reasonable to jump to her defense here, right? Um, <laughs> you can't just leave the game right now. Hey, you know what she can do? She can just end it anyway. But uh, she always jumps to people's defense, but it's normally only like the girls' defense, which obviously maybe the girls, just the people who are attacked more, maybe. But I, I also think that she's just very, very uh, like I feel like she's had a bad experience with men, or she's just only trusts women. I I don't know. Maybe that's a bit of a law point with her. That, but that's just the vibe I'm getting from her every single time we talk. Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? <laughs> uh, no. I've got a friend who, who really likes playing... Actually, no, he likes playing Demo Man. That's probably his main. Uh, but he has been... He does like to play uh, Medic as well. As long as we can't prove... One more mods. The murder weapon, you can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you... Nikki! Nikki! What? 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 <sighs> Again, I admire your enthusiasm, but you're wrong. Hey, don't blame me. Me comes the one who said it. Sorry. Actually, she didn't. She just interrupted. We I said it because I'm right. It's very much got the "Why are you booing me?" I'm right meme. Hey Nagito, are you still hiding something? Yes, you are. Uh, hiding? Like during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? You, you do, apparently. After all, 
this. What else do you intend to hide? Oh, maybe he tripped. Maybe he... If he could see in the dark, he would be able to defend himself. So, unless he tripped... Oh, yeah, yeah. It, people go, oh, no, we don't, we don't vote for 50. Oh, yeah, they've got 15 people lobbyists now. Or, like, we don't vote on 7 or something like that. Um, then again, I'm used to watching people play in Modern Among Us. Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off. Hey, Hyoko, you're jumping up on that tier list, love. You, you will see, at least. What happened during the blackout? Oh! Hmm. Yes, her, her noise record. She heard something. Oh, he, he, she heard that he said ow. Oh, if you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. Ah. Uh. Ibuki, I... Ibuki, I really... I really had my hopes up. Like, I, I really had my hopes that you would say something smart there. Like... Don't get distracted! Our lives are at stake, you know? Ibuki's just there. Ibuki makes a lot of sense. Whose life is at stake? I... Uh, uh. Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rule? Hey, Katsuichi! You may be a bit dumb at times and a bit of a simp, but hey, at least you're trying. Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. She actually said something genius. She didn't read the settings. What? She said something genius about if you cross your eyes, you can go double vision. Thank you, Hajime. Just like, no, shut up. Get out of here. Not it. What's not it? The truth is beyond our sight. That can't be it. Should be some way to find out what happened to Duck. Ibuki's thing. Ibuki, Ibuki's account. Hey, Ibuki. I can prove it with this. You could be useful. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? <laughs> please, Ibuki. Please, everyone's life is on your on your shoulders right now. Please, <laughs> please, Ibuki. <laughs> you were the one who told me. Remember, when everyone was shouting during the blackout. Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. To be fair, that is really impressive. It, you're right, it is a really impressive skill that, just casually hearing everyone and everything in the right order. Ah, don't step on my feet. So someone's moving. What the hell? What's going on here? He can see in the dark. This is. He's seen the knife. Ow. He gets pushed to the side. Like this, you know. Akane is just also vibing. You guys, where are you? Japanese version of the blackout. Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? I unfortunately cannot read Japanese subtitles or understand Japanese. So, whoops. Perhaps the breaker overloaded. Oh yeah, she says, what "The fuck are you doing? Stop." Oh. Hmm. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Oh. Oh, actually. Maybe Nagito also planned to kill. But Teru Teru got there first. And he just he just stabbed. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect huh. no less from the ultimate musician. 
It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, <coughs> style, figure, and personality totally suck. Yeah, okay, this is why this is why a lot of people are Ah, okay. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. Kilson, yeah, I think it was. Wait, did she just admit to that? <laughs> However, after hearing what Fiakuya and Nagito said in the dark. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! 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 Oh no! I stubbed my toe! It almost sounds like... The whole showdown was hell. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent. I have a small confession. Oh, you English sub JP Dub. Oh, that could have been a thing to, to. Yeah, that can make sense. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Biaku. So he went to get the knife? He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Biaku. Wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. You know, I kind of believe him with that. He stopped him from trying to get nabbed and he got shoved out under the table before he could even grab it. But it sounds plausible to me just from listening to what they both said at the time. I could stream both games. There's a uh, clear source now. Yeah. This is... Yeah, he, he, he's, he's the parent of this game so far. And now our, our parent's dead. I'm clipping. No, actually. I think about it. That sounds like exactly what happened. Yeah, that's. Hey, you've got spirit love, but come on, catch up. From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed, and all thanks to Biakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. But that's a good point. Luck can only get you so far. I mean, your luck cannot outperform somebody else's preparedness. And I think that, that goes to show the ultimate preparedness of Biakuya versus the ultimate luck of Nagito and uh, Nagito. Nagito? I, I don't remember anymore. Biakuya won out in that. It was just unfortunate the ultimate chef came in and stabbed him. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Biakuya? Don't compare it just yet. Oh, okay. Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! No, it's... The other guys thought we were trying to kill him. What other word is brimming? It goes down, uh, down to look being subjective again and again. Oh! It's that just in case. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you saying... The... Oh yeah, running up to him was dumb. Big dumb. Um... But then again, he, he was trying to stop any someone from being killed. And he did manage to actually win out against Nagito. Uh... It was just the other one. What I what I think actually then, I should say don't compare it. Maybe it's his luck that he didn't kill, because maybe he survives the entire thing. Maybe this is kind of like all luck falling into place. Uh, can I check out the map that Mahira did? I, I think I can. Hold on. Ha 
just just checking why is that relevant. Uh, no, I can't. Not by looks of it. Yeah, so then I'm guessing he survives the entire thing. It was all kind of pieces falling into place, so eventually it happens. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. And uh, Nikita, can we just tape you up for this? Like, cover your mouth. Is Nikita really not the kit? Yes, we've, we've covered this. Come on. No, yeah, he's still the same guy. There's no way you can say that. Yeah, you can. He's the same guy from before. Because he was a manipulative bastard before. I thought I knew him, but the whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. Now's not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Biakuya's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we, we will die here. Suspended? Well now. What does that mean? Now then, the class trial has reached its climax, but... Okay, here's a question for you. What's this? So that was you who figured out who it is. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, I love this! How about you try out the guest to killer challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data melt. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Guess right. Oh, what's ten billion dollars? Yes. Ten billion. Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on. Oh, what do you mean B? How do I press B? Ah! What do you mean there's no way I'll be able to- I do so- oh. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, there's no ten billion dollars either! You're so evil! Oh, that's- I've managed to put it on auto-scroller. How do I do that? How do I turn it off? How do I turn auto scroll off? There you go. This is why you've already been killed, Monami. <laughs> Skepticism is best. They mean B. But I don't have B. Why did they give me a control for a mouse and a controller? I suppose there's auto scroller. Also, E. E seems to also work. Regularly. Ah. Oh. Well, what now? What do you mean, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Oh, Monami. I. My, my theory is that Monami was actually, like, made by the survivors of the first game to be a spy in this game to try and help Biakoya, who was the, the, the hidden spy. Biakoya left a note. I don't believe Nagito did that. But, I don't know. He's confessed to it, but he's also confessed to murdering, which he didn't do. Shut up! We'll be the judge of that. Okay. You say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? The Monami could... Right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. Yeah, yeah, because it's... I feel like Monami saved this lot from going through Monokuma and then got caught up in Monokuma anyway. Or Monami was just a symbol of, oh look, here's hope. Haha. -ha! In the same way that Nagito's like, look everyone, 
we can have ultimate hope with everyone here. You're all the hope people. And then just try and like destroy it at the last minute. I don't know. I kind of like my theory at the minute. Because you have the hearts for me again. Yeah, I know. There's still more. Based on what we've discussed, Yakuya was killed under the table, right? What the heck? Oh! <laughs> I think I've still got those on <laughs> plastic. <laughs> oh, you managed to get 500 channel points already. Wow. so confused. I was like, is there an intense moment? Don't lose the nurse. I won't. The nurse is, the nurse is lovely. Well, hold on. The nurse kind of lose herself. Is there something wrong with that? I... True. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Hey, you know what? Neither, neither does mine. I'm not talking about your looks. Oh, okay. Never mind. He looks clean. Uh, there's no blood on the guitar. I see. Are you trying to say something like? Why didn't Nagito have any bloodstains on him? Yeah, but no one had bloodstains on him. Other than... We found the thing in the laundry basket. Nobody in the room would have had time to go and do that. Unless there was a secret room to the laundry basket. <laughs> Thank you to Iced Up. <laughs> He's clean. Everywhere, right? Honestly, bless me, fam. Me can. Yes. He stabbed Byakuya to death. It's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. Yes. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he says that, actually. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. The tablecloth. Mm -hmm. I guess we did. The tablecloth. In the laundry basket. The, the embarrassing pose. No, wait. <laughs> Apparently, she has the ability to block off all, you know, marks of everything. I didn't notice. It took me a couple of times, like, uh, when this got showed up the second time. How the sausages are wrapped around, and it just makes that really disturbing for me. I can prove like it's exists. literally wrapped around her arms. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are bloodstains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood. No, no. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but calm it down. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after oh, the murder? Oh, good them. You're moving up to C. You mean after the lights came back you're on? moving up to tier C. You've done if we'd seen him? Shit, you're moving down to D. That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it, you take it with you. Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, hitting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys too? He's so pessimistic. Then what does it mean? Yeah, you're sweating, Terror Terror, because we're onto you. Well, we're not yet. Maybe I'm onto you. The killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Stabbed him under the floor. That makes sense. No, there's no mistake that the murder Oh, oh, so Terry, there's a place in the storage room to get under the floor. Oh, Gundam's gonna come out with, ah, yes, I found a secret place to get under the floor. And it'll be like, Gundam, why didn't you bring this up earlier? Gundam, the inside of the table is so there's no denying 
<laughs> okay, okay, you've got me there. He he would be sweating in that scenario. You're you you're right. You got me. Oh, Shaki, best go. Yes. Yep. I I wouldn't expect anything else, Ibuki. Different. I am. Okay, he's not sweating, but look at those eyes. He is. He is sweating bullets. He got stabbed under the floor. Oh, Sharky, bless your heart. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. If I was in this situation, like, I have to kill somebody to get out of here. Sharky would be the one I murder. Well, Sharky, sorry, Sharky. Either Sharky or Mikan. Everyone else seems use. Oh, and Hajime, because Hajime is actually on the ball here. If I kill Hajime or Sh uh, Shaki, I don't think I'll have to kill Mikan because Mikan wouldn't get her words out. I think those three are the most useful people so far. It seems you have to figure out important words, the impro uh, improved hangman scan bit. So line up the right letters in order to reveal a key word. It's like a little puzzle game. Various letters will be flying across the screen in all directions. Two rules. If two different letters clash, you'll take damage. If two of the same letters clash, they will fuse. Make two of the same letters clash while you try not to let two different letters clash. Catch and release. You move vertical with the mouse and press the right mouse button while it's on top of the letter. You can attach the letter like a vacuum. Okay. Okay. Uh, lining up the keyword instead of pressing the right mouse button to find the letter, please press. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna. I think I'm learning how to do this. Uh. You no. We're gonna. We're gonna figure this out. Now, seven places are the same under the floor. Floor. Floorboard's gonna be answer. Good that you're reading the instructions. Oh, I, I didn't read them in uh, Danganronpa 1, and there was always the uh, the bit where you've got to... They're all going around in a circle, like the little, the little dots, you've got to press it in time. I had no clue what I was doing with that until the very end. Okay, floorboards, floorboards. Under the floor. Um. Okay, N. Ah, what happened there? And uh, E. Where's E? Oh, hold on. Oh, this is weird. Where's another E? 
Did it didn't lose it? Oh, there we go. Ow, what happened there? Under uh, the She's definitely the Kirigiri this. Yeah. Oh, let me do this, because I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. Ah, no! Under the... I don't need you. Under the floor, I never are. Uh, I never. Uh. Boom. Okay. I didn't hear that sound. Like that. I didn't hear that go off. Uh, like she say something genius, like. Don't actually realize the answer's under the floor. Yeah. I don't know why that didn't go off. I'm sorry about that. I wonder if I can. I can't refund that because it's a sound alert. Because it technically played. Damn, I need to turn that up then. I don't know why. I've had some issues with sound alerts. I'm going to have to have a look at those. Under the Fake it. <laughs> oh, no! Ah! <laughs> that was probably an awful door noise. Uh, it's more like a... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh! That, like that? <laughs> Under the floorboards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. It's like. Ah, oh, it's like I, I, I was meant to do that. Like, this, like, door noises. <laughs> they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps. They could have stabbed Byakuya to death. If so. That means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Storage room. How? Or the kitchen, maybe. Maybe it's way in the kitchen. I didn't think about that. I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling that there's someone here who does know. Oh, hydrate. Thank you. I am doing that anyway. Don't <laughs> if you can hear that. I was doing that just a second. Uh, that's the thing. When I don't have to talk for them, I can just drink. Oh, oh, Gundam. Gundam, please be useful. You're the only one. Get, how would you get your goddamn hey, hellhound? You dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Referring to the hellhound earring? Sure, sweetie, sure. Let's just, let's just, come on then. About that earring. Yep. Don't make me put you back down into D tier. About that hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? Just like a child. Yes. Exactly like a child. I have found it! Truly, this is the hellhound earring. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefits. I see. Good, good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, I would probably not reach either. Oh no, he's absolutely pure. And a minute, I I think he could, in a state of delusion, kill somebody. And when it when we first introduce as, to him as the ultimate breeder, and he looks that edgy, I was just like. Hold on, I don't want to share a, a, a place of him. <laughs> this just sounds... We've already met the perver of Teru Taru. But... Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense, actually, Suki. That does. That feels more legitimate. Uh, I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, 
it would probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building to ashes. Sure, sweetie, sure. That's that's just how did you get get the earring again? However, it's just as the old legend said. The hellhound earring has returned to its owner. To me. Yeah, yeah, but can, just We get in there. Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. Uh-huh. If he headed on by the time the class trial began. It means he spent the time to find it. And that means Gundam was able to retrieve his hearing from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. Yes. Okay, so do you want to get to the explanation? So Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. Thank you, Peko. <laughs> It's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. Cut. Gundam, I'm gonna keep, keep you in detail. That's right. Give me the answer. But I am Give. With the power of my four dark davids of destruction, it is of no concern. Oh, did you just get a hamster to go down in here? If that's his answer, I'm gonna be so annoyed. True. This is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. <laughs> Look at the little hamster. He's just like, yeah. I am evil! <laughs> what should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Hey, you know what? No way, I was just fitting through that hole. Uh, true. Well, you might find like a, like a, uh, you know, I don't know. I think you might keep like, find like a little mouse hole and he just runs in. No, no, he won't squeeze it. No. Oh, it's in, oh, okay, thank you, Gundam. Thank you. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, from P, has seen beyond the chaos. <laughs> Look at him just against the box. He's like, ah! Okay, I love the hamsters. The of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. Oh, you know what? Hey, he could have said, Do I grab the, the flame of Azeroth and bend down into the caverns below and search through? He, he's actually being honest. He's being real honest. See, animal skills are incredible. Uh, probably they are. I haven't seen much example of this yet, to be fair, though. As a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound earring with my own two hands. Just have an actual communication. I am impressed with him. I really am at a minute. <laughs> He's going up to C tier. With fear, fools. Behold my power. He's on the edge of C D tier, but the minute he's in C tier. Here he goes blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. <laughs> and you're just a dancer. Shut up. Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Ah. <sighs> and that has to be how the killer did it. So it can't have been anyone in the room. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. Mm hmm. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there, stab, stab, stab. Hey, Ibuki. Yeah. Hmm. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? <laughs> Should it sound more <laughs> fleshy, like? <laughs> How is that splat shank stab? Hold on. What was that, Ibuki? Wait, <laughs> it. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? Shank. Absolutely shank. So, 
Was there anyone who was able to do that? You were in the kitchen, Teru Teru. Uh, Mafia Boy was outside. Chihiko was outside. And Peko was in the bathroom. What HHG does to a girl. That makes sense, actually. Okay, I I've got to be a bit nicer to uh, Ibuki. Because that actually do would explain a lot. Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? Ibuki. I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monami over there can be my witness, right? Yes! This Monami over here is your witness! Bless her heart. I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further. But I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. There's no one to give you an alibi there because of the time. The only person who wasn't at the party was Fihiko. Was Fihiko. It obviously has to be him. Fihiko. But it's not Fihiko because Fihiko didn't kill. Yay! It's decided! No! <sighs> Hiyoko, calm down. Calm down. What the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer. <laughs> oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? See, shut up, Mahiro. Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! You'll bark no bite. See? You're making threats again. Yeah, but threats aren't violence. He hasn't murdered anyone. We're trying to find out who actually killed somebody. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting. Good news, you're now allowed to use the silencer. You can use the silence with the right mouse button as many times as you want. When you use the silence, you can shoot down the white noise. When you shoot down the white noise, your time limit will increase a little. However, if you shoot an actual mark or your silencer instead of the white noise, the time limit will decrease. Actually, okay, so I right click. Okay. So it's gentle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, but, but, yeah, you can bang. That's fine. You press the escape key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Good luck and have fun. Wait, what? Sorry, what am I supposed to do? Oh, hello, Lacey. The party, the killer. It's not Bookies. All day without going to the storage room in the dark. Uh, okay. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer. But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. Oh, no, no, Chico saw you. Chico. That means you have no alibi. Oh, okay. No, that's wrong. Oh, thank you. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Thank you, Shaki. Uh, oh, you're right. <sighs> what happened to Fuyuhiko? Oh, hey. W what are you doing here? All alone in a place like this? I'm sending guards and Monokuma doesn't come inside. How diligent of you. So after the party started, there's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. <laughs> I secretly think them two are gonna be like buddy buddy. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? <laughs> Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. No, no, they checked that. What'd you say, motherfucker? See, he's trying to throw everyone under the bus here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
He got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Oh, uh, thank you, Gundam. Someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Which means Pe Pekka was in the chair. Uh, which just leaves Teru Teru and Chiaki. And Chiaki was with, with Yusami. Well, Someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. Why would you say that? You're the, you're the, you're the culprit. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. Oh, Hajime, I love you. It's super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. I feel like it's been overlooked. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. Okay, yes. The blackened or the spotless. <clears throat> Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Nikita, shut up. Make your argument. I don't want my argument this. The fire door. Oh, it was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. Is that making a seafood bowl without fish? Is it really not possible? What if they use the string like the cord? No. What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? No. It definitely sounds impossible. Huh. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. Like making a seafood bowl without fish. He's <laughs> really the whole squad laughing. Is really not <laughs> what if they use the string like the cord? Maybe that. Nope. Crap. Okay, I messed that one up. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Do I think he's party dishes? Storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? Hmm. We've got string? The string like the cord? A torch. Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, this is set to the, the middle one. Uh, like normal. It's not hard. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Okay, let me have a look at my. There's not another pair. There wasn't another one of those in there. What's the kitchen in the this? Oh, there's a portable, portable stove. Oh, that'll be it. That's gotta be it. Is it really not possible? Ah, I've got this, I've got this. What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision No. What a pain, I'm gonna go with my gut. She's right. What if they used a light? Yeah, 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 yeah. Had me confused for a hot second. The killer had a light with him. I was thinking if they use the, the, the doors, then we go, okay, it's not this way, it's gotta be the other way. Right? But that, that makes sense. Oh, I was right? Yeah, okay, you were well, where right. Could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. Portable stove. To be portable, you wouldn't need electricity. 
20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. And even a portable stove. Well, cat, there should be no problem choosing it. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. How? A hole. What kind of hole? Oh, God's sake. It would be great if you could like, explain it to me in much more detail. Can, can you throw him out? Just for that alone. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. We, we will throw him out. yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. Will you battle against me? Do you want a Beyblade? How do you want to battle? No, that's wrong. This is not a Beyblade. Will you be able to break my argument? Uh, no, I've forgotten how to play. It sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. Okay. Fire door seems like the thing we're gonna go with here. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I missed that one. I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark. So if the light was shining in such a dark hallway. Ah, damn it. Whoops. Crap. Damn it. The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark. So if the light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? The fire doors. There we go. I didn't realize there was one after that. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There we go. And I... <clears throat> it all makes sense. There should have been a wall that blocked light. <sighs> We've went an hour of a schedule today. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. But I generally enjoy this. It's taken almost three hours so far, this... this... thing. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. Yep. I see. You actually <laughs> noticed the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Wow. Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? No. Yeah, who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You are indeed. Heko, you're you're allowing him to get off track. Oh, I'm glad it wasn't a beatbox, beatbox battle, by the way, because I would not have won. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. Okay, just checking. We're allowed to kill each other, but we're not allowed to offend people. God damn, Monokuma. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> he said imposter. Thus. <laughs> God damn it. You're obviously the killer, right? Ne Neko, you are falling way down on my on my tier list now. You're on D. If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. Quite the real killer. No, I really don't want to condemn that person, but you're very right. 
First thing you use the hallway's fire door as cover and use the portable stove to move into the darkness and snuck under the floorboard to stab your crew. Yep. <laughs> he is he is very slow. Now I can think of is You and only you. Oh wait actually just, to be fair, I'm surprised it lets us pick. Like just that. You the only one. Oh my I am poor. Oh. Flexing my muscles here, cause my my brain smart. Oh. What? What are you talking about? Terry Terry's the killer? Is that true? Yeah, just I, I said this from the beginning. What are you talking about? There's no way. There's loads of ways. Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak free. Hashmi, that's not how you conduct an investigation. You don't just say, "No, oh, that's just what I think." Do you want to object? That's fine. Objection or not, why am I being treated like a killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. You gotta leave. I'm gonna end soon. As soon as we end this, we gotta go. But thank you, thank you, Suki, for coming in. It's one o'clock for me anyway. I've gotta go soon. But thank you so much for joining. Thank you for the follow. I, it's been amazing having people here. Well, I spent about three hours of literally nobody here, and it was really awkward. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hopefully, we'll end as soon as this trial ends. So, we'll start tomorrow back at the beginning. And hopefully that means that Saturday and Sunday next week, we should have a new killer. A new investigation. But thank you very much for joining. And Oh, actually, if people are going, because I'm going to end soon as well. Let me put... Um, that in there because I do have a little um, a page in a minute I have for Danganronpa and hopefully I get people to talk I can talk about my theories in that when we get them um, I don't want to spoil it for people who do want to come back and I don't want spoilers in it for the future but it might be good but thank you very much for joining thank you Suki and hopefully I see you tomorrow I'm looking forward to it It is a bit Hajime, you've got to present more evidence. You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. But not wrong. Uh, that attitude is so not like you. <laughs> For the ultimate cook to get so upset, call me shit. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? <laughs> The future of the culinary arts. That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So, what's an aspersion anyway? Is God damn it, Akane. Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. Yes. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards, too. So how would they be able to stab Miyaki? You're not going to say they shined the light on Miyaki, right? Plan would have been ruined if he noticed. Ah, uh, that's right. What do you think about that? Baby, you're not denying it. You're the person. Toto, you're admitting to it. That's, there's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? To use the paint. That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so... It oh. It's impossible for them to use that mark to target the victims. So, what was that mark? 
Uh... It's gotta be the, uh... Where's the tape? Why is it? Is it fire door? Iron first code night vision goggles. Am I dumb? Where's, where's the tape? What's the question? The victim was targeted by Mark. What was that Mark? It's... It's gotta be a knife, right? Because there's nothing else here that suggests it otherwise. They're going pink. I can prove it with this. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for step. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Yes. Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I don't know anything. Really? I don't know anything at all. I've got a feeling that the voice actor for this the same person does like the pit people stuff in the, the Battle Block Theatre because he's got such a similar voice. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did he boot you here during the blackout? Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Ow! Turn the damn lights on! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Yeah, but you could just say that. She heard Teru's voice in the dining hall. Doesn't yeah, but... that prove Teru Teru was in the no. hall just proves the that you could hear his voice. He can act. That's right. That's exactly it. No. Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So why was no. he in the dining hall? Why are you falling for this, Mahiru? I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too. But somehow I managed to move along the wall towards oh. everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining room. No. It sounds fishy. Yes. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by looking at a stick. Well, if you want, you should try looking me. The ads didn't make a roar noise. No way! You look greasy. But I heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall. Ibuki swears on her honor. Yeah, 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 but Ibuki, yeah, um, Ibuki, bless your heart. That's right. Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. Are you dumb? No, that's not it. Why? 
Look, no. Oh, is this? I never. Okay, make your argument. What? I don't know what I'm supposed to be arguing here. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. Oh, the blood. Uh. No? It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? No. Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. The gaps in the floor, you idiots. You were under the dining hall floor. Why are you, why is everyone dumb? Just because we heard Terra Terra's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Yeah. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. Yeah. Why is everyone dumb? But, 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 but. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Yeah. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? Oh, bless her heart. I told you to wait a second, I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Oh, he's went very, uh... Uh, how's he? Farmer. Where are you from again? I was born in West Azabu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys. This guy's a major liar. Yeah, I knew he was from somewhere different. If Terry Terry was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? No. I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's oh. lives are at stake. Nikita, shut up. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your haze and memories! What is the accent? His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there. And I believe that he was not there. Of oh, Sonya. No. Is there any way we can decide? I had a picture. Why don't we consult his memories? His memories? Yeah, yeah, don't be sad. Things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? I yeah. Oh, oh, you again. <laughs> Everyone not tell us in language in the blackout in order to know for sure. We need to throw that question at him. Um. Oh, I need to him or something. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. In order to know for sure, I just need to throw that question at him. Um... Uh Victim was pretty sad.
What am I? You need to throw that question at him. Which is where you were in the dining hall. Well, oh, Lacey moving up. Oh, she. He would remember that. I can prove it with this. Oh, Mikan, you saved the day again. If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? Whoa, what? And he would definitely remember that. No, this is a very important question. Well, Terry Town, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? What? Um. <laughs> it was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it. So yeah, much. yeah, which definitely you wouldn't forget about that. Miken, Miken, shut up. How about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru? Um, um, uh, uh, that's weird. It just slipped from my mind. There's no way you'd get that. There's no way it would slip from your mind. Exactly, yeah. Like Mihiro, this is where you come in clutch. Um, even so, Nagito, say something. I guess you might have to give up now. Give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Ah, uh, Nagito, you, you don't have a leg to stand on here either. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Oh, hold on a sec, don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? Now, no matter what, they haven't been cleared up yet, Chef. It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. Okay, he, okay, you're getting there. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? <laughs> but it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? You're calling me the killer? Where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Weapon, huh? Yeah, it's not the knife, right? It's on your equipment list. It's on your equipment list. If they stab from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. It's a skewer. Not good enough. Not good enough at all. He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all. Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Was it? Um, he said. Try to do it. What a confusing accent. Yeah, you need to focus. I've got this. What was that? It's it's the Oh Skewer. Meat meat skewer. Okay. No. That's fine. Oh, that's faster. Where's M? Oh, whoops. Where's M?
It's not I, is it? It is. Oh, I don't know what it is then. Oh, iron. Iron, oh. Iron skewer. Okay. See, I thought it was meat. S K E W E R. Well, that's K. Now we need E. Now we need another E. In and R. Ah, you go my way. E. Screw it. There we go. Ooh. There we go. The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party, as Biagio was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. I checked the equipment, and there seems to be an iron skewer missing. Ah, that's right. As, as far as I know, it has been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, ah, ah! Oh, oh, oh! Did she just say Avril Lavigne? Shit to fuck with us. You probably duck this school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non stop. Island sirens just for littering. Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru. Just man up and be straight with us. Oh. 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 We're near the end. According to the point, we turn by soul shields. As if we will not listen to what you have to say. I'm probably paying you to condemn your classmates, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their shields. A high speed dispute battle where you beat down a packed opponent, excuse, and non stop. And that's the bullet time bat. Sorry. Panic train action. At PTA. During PTA, you must destroy all your opponent's shields so you can deliver your final strike. Destroy your opponent's marks while following the tempo of the song. Oh. You can press with the tempo mark as you move across the screen. Left mouse button. If you keep pressing it, you'll be able to lock onto multiple remarks at the same time. Besides, if you keep missing, you'll number down. Okay. If you destroy your opponent's soul shields, they will start to give their final argument. It happens four words will be displayed on top of the bottom left and right side of the screen. Come to the WS and D keys. Okay. Okay. You'll find right within the time your opponent's soul shields will recover.
Don't see a weapon is the weapon and hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to slip by. Uh, put your folio before the party side. And the ground in the trap. Paint in an unexpected place. I don't know. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll get that. Doing this right. Unforgivable. Where would the weapon be? Uh, on the meat bone. Shut up. That's impossible. A meat on the bone. There we go. Ha, ah, there we go. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way I had in again. In a place like that? That's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Bianca and I thought. That's why we overlooked. No, they're showing like, like that skewer in the dress circle inside that pile of food. No, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepare, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is the meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. <laughs> we need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, I'll die. All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me <laughs> one, one minute. minute. I'll eat the whole Wait, now, hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. Oh. Okay. I'm already eating it. Oh, a bear that eats meat. Uh, wait. Now that I think about <laughs> it. Get cut down, it's goofy. Anything like it in my entire life. The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad. Seriously, this is really bad. My, my. There's something inside the meat. Look what came out. Ta da! Isn't that. Is that an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. Ah. Sword of destruction. Got in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. 
I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Magito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? <laughs> he said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth fast food eating hits. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Never, never, never should have my cooking on your great. Never, 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 never should have wasted my cooking on you. Ingrits. One thing we should I first. We need to settle this once and for all. Do that. We need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Yeah. That's right. If we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do. My fob is <laughs> decent. Okay. Every case has one last feature: the closing argument. In this phase, complete summary. Capture areas where a number of pieces are missing. I uh, have three or five truth panels make one set. Place all the correct panels. It would be difficult to complete with so many gaps, but once you fill so many in, it becomes simpler. Uh, for those of you that have played the previous game, you might hesitate at first, but it's basically the same concept. Uh, and a certain trick. You move the vertical onto the gaps of each page, it will display hints at the top of the screen. Which apparently will display a hint as well. Okay, I think I've got this. I've got a pretty good record of uh, of doing this. Um. Everyone at the party is. Oh, we can just move along, okay. I saw this room before the blackout. Um, oh, whoops. Uh, I'm guessing that goes there. What is this there then? I just saw this room before the blackout. Well, at the office room where the blackout occurred, he looked on the night vision goggles. Oh, okay. Oh, things don't always work in order. Okay, so back to the beginning. I saw the room before the blackout. They set that on. At the office room. Uh, where the blackout occurred. No? I'm gonna lose all my health here, whoops. Um, could it be a curious see? That doesn't tell us. The killer obtained a light. The weapon hidden in. Why did the killer do exiting into the dark hall? I borrowing it. Borrowing it comes here. Um, um, well, the hearing would come near the end, right? After all this scuffle. There we go. That 
that's already there, right? Um, Night Flowing in the Dark. We're missing so many of these. The air conditioner is turned on. Kyoko is drinking juice. Uh, so we got that, we got that one. So I guess it comes before here, so... Athletics in Dark Hall. Kyoko turns the light. Ayaki, I see your Nagisa going under there. Um, so we got that one, we got that one, got that one, got that one. Got that one, got that one. He switched it on. Do I need an uh, He closed the doors. There we go. No, we got everything. Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for this. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggle. Yakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Yakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. 
They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byaki found the knife that had been hidden there. Looks way cooler than it should. Yeah. I... How much wood is back? I think we've got... We've got all this now. I... If only he had retreated. I'm, I'm, hmm. I'm confused how why Nikito and uh, Teratero was working together. To retrieve that knife. And at that moment. The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. Because wasn't it also as likely that Nagito would be stabbed by Terra Terra. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer. I mean, and it's that's that's his luck, right? To be like, oh look, I'm gonna get caught. And that's gonna allow someone else to. Purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Territory. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. I I predicted territory from is the beginning. Right, Teru Teru Hanamura. <laughs> Went from such a slim person to such a to such a chub chub. That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? I like Hajime. Hajime is really like growing on me. This is a mistake. A mistake. I tell you, I would never, I would never kill anyone. But you, you kind of did. Would never. <laughs> Hajime is awesome. He's really growing on me. I wasn't expecting him to be this good. I was expecting him to be like really awful. Like Makoto level of Dum Dum, but he's he's putting his work in. It seems this is the end. I was why is he not telling to do a vaccine? Hey, hundred points, ninety six, ninety nine, hundred, a hundred, hundred, ninety two, hundred, hundred, ninety six, hundred, eighty six, uh, ninety. Hey, you know what? I'll take a. I don't know if you can get S tier. What was the one I got? Missteps. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Oops! I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time! Yay! Then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! I'm gonna have to end the stream soon, so as soon as this kind of ends, I'll have to end my stream. Because it is, what, almost 2 o'clock in the morning now? Oh, just a reminder! Make triple sure you vote for someone! If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier! Yeah, okay, I'll vote. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully <laughs> wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! I don't think I've got a single one of these wrong yet. Like. Before going into it, I'll be set on who I think it is. I don't think I've ever been wrong 
in D1. And I was concerned for D2. Punishment. Oh, and no punishment? There could be a punishment. That's right! This time the black is responsible for killing the Akoya Togami is Teru Teru Hanamura. Are you, are you serious? Out of all these people, are you seeing a ponce like him is the one who killed the Akoya? But... Why? Why did you kill him? You, you got it, wrong. it was a mistake. I'm telling you, it was a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. I wasn't trying to stop Nagito from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop what you mean? I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party and then... I heard a weird laugh near the dining hall and when I peeked over there... I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty putting the knife under the table. Oh, well, that makes sense. That's why he wasn't concerned to just stab. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he brought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. First he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So, so I questioned him. And when that happened, he... You caught me? I've been caught? Been caught? What are you doing? What are you scheming? I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Huh? Naruto, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or days beyond that, I will definitely start killing. Impossible. What? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just. I see, so that's what you think. Well, but that's not it at all. It isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's what wants to be of good use to them. I love all of the ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols of hope. Amazing. That's right, in the name of hope. I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why... <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. <laughs> I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 what no, are no. you saying? I don't understand at all. See? Isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you'll become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I want to see that brightness, and in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make you hope shine, it's just as simple as that. That's right. I yearn for a powerful hope. I can overcome any kind of despair. Uh, are you Are you kidding? I don't tell me, you, you're actually serious. That's so you don't understand. <laughs> That's fine. I don't really mind. I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's alright that this love of mine is unquieted. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. No way, no way, no way. You, th there's something wrong with you. Really? Uh, do you think so? You really think there's something wrong with me? But isn't that what love is? Nagito, what is the meaning of this? Explain it to me, I don't understand anything about the story at all. See? You see, if you have a favourite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fight with me. You better not compare us to that. What? Am I wrong? Is it given that trials are necessary to become strong? And the harsher the trials, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> For mere humans, killings are simply a tragedy, but... 
For worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing. It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can on that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. Great. There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation. So that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Uh, stop it! You, you're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand. At all. Are you saying you basically want to commit murder for, for fun? It's not the same as killing for fun. But I guess it looked the same in your eyes. I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Territory discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. Huh? So... Nagato wanted to involve us in the killing. Thus, it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Territory? You expected to pique Territory's curiosity and you looked forward to the mystery becoming more complex? Well, you're, you're basically right. It's true I was looking forward to that. And that's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well? You're right. I just can't casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. Uh, hey, 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 hey. This dude, he, he's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane. That's right, that's, that's why I tried to stop him, you know? However, but wh why did you kill Biakia instead? I don't know! Because Nagato was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That's why I, I aimed and thrusted the iron skewer there. But, but why is Biakia the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagato, not him. Biakia probably tried to stop Nag uh, Nagato from grabbing the knife. And then in place of Nagato. No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Perhaps. Yaku was probably trying to protect Nagato. What, what did you say? Because Biko said so, didn't he? No worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. <laughs> Could it be in order to keep that promise? Mm. As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles. I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagato. Why? So Biakoya gave his life to protect Nagato, even though he was trying to take the knife. <laughs> I see. Biakoya is amazing. He was promised to protect everyone, and he, he actually threw his own life away. And yet, such despair. I never expected an ending like this. Such despair. What? <laughs> We shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. Could it be you knew Pikoya would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Someone like me. Uh, of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results that they were going to be my uh be my fun for later. <laughs> just kidding. I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I would be the one to survive. But since it was my life that has been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Teru Teru. Uh, wh why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime. Because he also has strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I... I tried to help, Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I always also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wants to kill me, but he ended up killing Biakui and said you'd... If I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? In order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping in silence. 
Right. Those are my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Toro Toro? In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and it turned out to be a bad ending for Toro Toro. <laughs> you should be proud of yourself, you will not die in vain. Right. You'll become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else, so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible. Sacrifice? Shut up. Shut up. Seriously, stop it already. I'm gonna go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey. It, is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it if we just fucking kill him off? Yeah! Kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. But a person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagato, it's Toro Toro. Huh? What's the matter? You didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the Black and Killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait. Hold on. No, 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 no. That was, no, no, no. how should I put it? A an accident, some. An act of self-defense, and not not intentional. Anyway, I feel it's possible it's not my fault. It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. But hasn't there anything like sympathy judgments, extenuating circumstances, or maybe even from probation? Impossible. I don't accept any of those claims. That's, that's not. Hey. Same, you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagato, so... Why you? Be honest. After learning about Nagato's plans, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? You, you, you're wrong. There's no way a person who has no malice would kill somebody like that. Uh, ain't you if you were just desperate to kill Nagato and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already. At least, in the end. No, that is... Teru, Teru! Why? If, if only you didn't try to kill Nagato, but Yakoya would still be alive. Why did you try to commit murder? Listen to me, Teru, Teru. I just... I just wanted to go home. Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate, hopes be academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? Uh. I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. I know that already. I, I know that already. I promised. I promised I would become a full fledged cook and save the Hanamuro Diner. I was waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! Teru Teru! <laughs> But if we were told our memories were stolen and several years have passed since our first day, hey. then what happened to the Hannibal who died on her? What happened to my mom who was still waiting for me? Oh. So you did believe what Monokuma said? Damn it! You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll, I'll never believe in something like this. So why? Wrong. You don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. It, it has to be a lie. I want to go to go home and confirm it. I should make sure it was all just a lie. I want to make sure that I still have a place to call home. So do you. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Teru Teru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. 
That's why I kept denying it. Because he believed it, he needed to deny it. If only I knew how he felt. Something like this would never have happened. I want you to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard about Negato's plan. I thought he was going to kill someone if I left him alone. That's why. That's why. So you wanted a fast kill? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you. But it was the only thing I could do. And you have killing big coins and naked so. I, I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Oh, bless his heart. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting, but as far as motives to kill are concerned, once see your mom is boring. What? It seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't! No, you can't! Please, get out of my way! Yeah. Well now. There. Now that the annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Wait. Hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least. Now Call me Chef. No, wait, that's not what. Please, Please. tell me, Lisa, what happened to the animal the diner? To Mama? Let's give it everything we've got. Oh, bless his heart. Lies. I won't believe this. I. I won't. I won't believe it. Bless his heart. I feel really sympathetic to him, to be fair. Well, let's enjoy this together, shall we? That's overkill. Oh, I think he's covered them in oil, then breadcrumbs. And then oil to deep, well, lava to deep fry. Yes, <laughs> that was extreme. Yeah. That old adrenaline is rushing through me. Toe, toe, toe. Damn it. Are, you, are you fucking serious? How cruel. What? Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Uh, didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you bad mouth someone. The teacher writes in a note and makes whoever you badmouthed read it to you in front of the class. No. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the one who drove him to do it. This is so cruel. This is too cruel. Nice. Well, it can be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Huh? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? 
There's a catch. The catch is beat out yet? That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. I know, right? But when your school memories return to you, right? You better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Why, why didn't you tell Tara Tara about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. Yeah, us, us too. What have a right to know? Bastard. Hey, hurry up and tell us. What do you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. <laughs> you, you're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of... <laughs> but I never told you guys, I'll tell you right away. What? what? I'll keep my promise to return your memory someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. That's just a dick move, man. I must excuse myself as well as uh, something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? So That's not fair. They both ran away. Then... Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Terra Terra, you stupid! Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. Seriously, tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. Why are you smiling? Crap. How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on, I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimates who inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I could be happy when you've lost such a talented individual. Don't, with me. Don't go saying creepy shit, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. What? Huh? <laughs> if you hate me, I don't mind you kidding me. I could prepare myself to become your stepping stone. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're gonna kill me, make sure you discuss with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do it, do that, I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not the big of a deal. If your students are hopes for the academy, if you're the symbols of hope who possess the chosen talents, Great. then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Declaring so confidently that you will side with the killer. Hey. Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, well I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Bayakoya, I'm starting to feel a little desire to live. This is exciting. Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. Can I punch you? I just won't be satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with them. What? Even Hajime hates me now? How that sings. I thought you and I were quite similar. What is that? Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling towards Hope Speak Academy. Just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Okay. But how can you say you're not? When I can visit it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no, if it's true nature uh, if it's true that our school memories are stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is? Arcane, okay, please feel free to punch him. Oh, uh, cover- Best McGee, cover yourself. Wait. Yeah. Hold on. Please stop. please stop this at once. Nothing will come from fighting like this. There is something else that we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen. We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important to do. Let me which ask. is... To do our best. Huh? Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall work together and do our best. Do our best we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. Is this what I believe we must do right now? I am sorry. 
If only I was a better motivational speaker. Oh, goddamn simp. Oh, that, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. We, we need to do what right now is, is to do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. That is right. Like... But what do we have to work harder? <laughs> I do not know. But we must do our best. Yes. I don't get you at all. You're some kind of moron. Well? It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So let's do our best. Let's make sure a kidding like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but doing our best is the only option. And there's no option when I'm doing what Nag Nagato said. I'm gonna do it! Right, I don't know what you're talking about, but let's do, do our best from now on. Fine. Very well. Even if we are not able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. Damn fiend! I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul, and I'll fight the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. Even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words, regardless, we still said it. And we continue to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Bayakoya and Teratero were sacrificed. Afterwards, we were left to trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. That being, we decided to go back to our colleges. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I duly, uh, duly looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was. The night sky brimming with stars. The stars looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. The thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. I'm definitely going to go home. That's when it happens. Instead of a night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. I felt my entire body stiff with a sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Nineteen days left. Destination despair. End. Hopefully it lets us save and we'll end our stream there. Right. Obtain present. Dead man's party. A uh, three-star badge. Hey. Obtain present a wooden stick. For a long time. Uh, but, 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 but. Even if we weren't told Hold on. Directly, Hold on. Stop. You'd know it just by looking at the world around. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. We saved. We're gonna end the stream now. We're gonna be carrying this on tomorrow. Oh my god, this has been an amazing stream though. We've had like six followers, which is what? Uh, what almost 120th of our entire followers in this stream alone. And I've been streaming for over a year now, and that's mad. Um, but I, I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Um, this, is, this has been amazing, absolutely amazing. So thank you all. Um, I'll do the, the, the basic things of obviously, your follow is always uh appreciated you know i i love it yeah it's amazing if you guys do follow uh, and it's the best way for you to keep up with what we're doing on the channel uh we are going to be playing danganronpa for the next couple of weeks hopefully um i think actually let's let's also wrap up by bringing 
this back up. My predictions. Um, I I did say a rules out of self defense kill. When it was like likely to missing meat skewer, I did get that right. So only chef or lucky boy would have. I get a weapon without anyone seeing. For the floorboards, it makes sense. I, I I was kind of half right there. Um, how the lights got turned out, I probably could have figured that out if I was a bit smarter, but I was I wasn't there. Um, I don't I don't think I did too bad. But yeah, as always, followed always appreciate it's the best way for you to keep up with the channel. We stream every weekend at eight uh eight p.m. UK time. Um. Uh, a sub is also greatly appreciated. Never feel like you have to. Uh, but you, did you know you can sub with Twitch Prime for free? Wink, wink. Uh, yeah, she plugs. Um, we greatly appreciate it if anyone does. It, it's amazing. But now we've got a hundred followers. By the way, we've reached a hundred followers this stream. I'm gonna have to try to get the hundred followers as the sub reward at the minute. Uh, I feel like a limited time use one. Uh, which would be really cool. Um, and other than that, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. As always, you can join our Discord, which we have there. And I'm also starting to try to slowly learn how to make YouTube videos. Uh, so feel free to uh, go over to that YouTube channel and give it a watch. We're slowly making our way editing through the um, Resident Evil 7 game on there. Which we did as a 12 hour stream. A lot of effort, but a lot of fun. After that, we've been streaming for about six and a quarter hours. I'm really tired. I'm going to pull it there. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you all, hopefully, tomorrow. Bye bye.